That makes no sense. I know, right? Have I never been able to hear through my headset? I'm starting to question now. <laughs> I'm genuinely starting to question whether or not I've actually ever been able to hear my game volume through my headset. I have, right? Haven't I? I don't know. Oh my god. I don't even know anymore. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, well, well, I, I haven't known until I just went live. That's the thing. Um, yeah, like, until I went live, I had absolutely no idea, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm also on the wrong controller here, so let's try that one again. Uh, alright, let's try that one again. We're gonna go with that one. Oh, what a nightmare. What a friggin' nightmare, hey? Hey, guys, I'm a professional streamer! Woo! Yeah, said no one ever. Oof. I mean, I'm not actually a professional streamer, but you get the idea. I know how to hold a Joy-Con game. God damn it. We can hear everything and it'll be okay. Oh God, I sincerely hope so. I sincerely hope so. It's just really sad that I can't hear my own game volume. God damn it. So last week, ladies and gentlemen, we got scoured into buying drinks for a child who wasn't thirsty. Exactly. That was uh, what we did last week. Uh, there we go. There we go. Super fun Pokemon stream. Yeah. Yeah. As long as we don't get scammed by this young lady. Any, uh, uh, you know, bleh, this young lady again. We'll shove her in this bin. She can be a bin. There you go. There's a lovely Pidgey there. Pidgey, talk to me. Make me feel good. Uh, lovely. There you go. Lovely Pidgey. You pre-ordered the Switch Lite? No, it's cool. Sounds good to me, man. Sounds good to me. Hopefully you have a lot of fun with it. Okay, so just one last time, can I confirm that every single person in here can hear my voice and can hear the game music right now? No trolls, please. I know I've got trolls in here, like you, Chuchi. No trolling. I am desperate for accurate information, I swear to God. Oh, I've come off Minecraft with the boys. We had eight people playing and they all split up into teams. Nice, dude. Nice. Sounds like a lot of fun. What did you, uh, what did you get up to in Minecraft? I'd never ever troll you. I know you wouldn't, but, but look at that friggin' Waluigi down there being all troll like. <laughs> Alright, okay, cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Um,. We did a lot last week, ladies and gentlemen. We made our way through... No, in fact, no, let's start from the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Uh, we uh, defeated the Vermilion City Gym Leader, uh, Lieutenant Surge, and acquired our third Pokemon Gym Badge, uh, which is good. We then uh, went through the Rock Tunnel, which was very, very dark indeed, and was not fun at all. There was a lot of trainers there that... Pff, we just really didn't want to deal with, but uh, we got through it in the end, and uh, we got ourselves this big boy. Yeah, riding around on my Onyx like a friggin' badass. Feels Onyx, man. Um, we also made our way to Lavender Town, which is the home of the Pokemon Tower, the place where the uh, Pokemon are laid to rest once they've uh, departed from. Um, you know, this world. And uh, we saw a Cubone who was looking for its mother, but unfortunately that Cubone was then... What the hell was that? This Cubone was then kidnapped by Team Rocket. So we are now on the hunt for Team Rocket, ladies and gentlemen. We know where Team Rocket's base is, though, because they very stupidly said it a bit too loud. It's behind the game corner. So we're going to try and find the game corner here in Celadon City. All right, Team Rocket. What do you think you're doing running around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? Good for you, fella. Good for you. Feels Onyx, man. Yeah, Rock Snake. Woo! Did you nearly evolve a Pikachu into a Raichu to, be to beat Lieutenant Surge? Nah, not on this occasion. Nope, none of that. Started up a new world, played some survival. My team is dominating. We have diamonds already. Nice, dude. Nice. Team Kalo always dominates. Always dominates. 
Uh, but yeah, this is Celadon City, and Celadon City is the home to the uh, the biggest shopping center in um, in Kanto. So we had a bit of a shopping spree at the end of last week's stream. Hey, H7, how you doing, man? How you doing? You going to goose the bot? Yeah, please do, please do. Um, thank you, by the way. And uh, yeah, we dressed up our Pikachu. He's now got a little Diglett hat, which is absolutely friggin' adorable. But before we get into anything too proper, I'd like to explore this land, if I may. So yeah, let's go chat to a few people. Why is Pikachu a nerd? Were you not here last week? Uh, we uh, we bought some uh, glasses for for our Pikachu, and we also got a Diglett, hel a, a Diglett hat for it. I'll, I'll let you have a closer look. There you go. There you go. All right, Pikachu, show me, show that Diglett hat. Uh, no, I, I can't quite see the Diglett hat, but it, it's there. It's there. All right, there you go, Pikachu. That's enough of that. Get back in your ball, you bugger. Gikachu, nice. <laughs> Literally one second after the goose. Hey, it works though. It works. You think you think you got tired? Ah, no problem. I did stream a wee bit late. Anyway, but yeah, welcome to the stream, H7. Hopefully you've had a wonderful day today, my good friend. Why, hello there, young lady. Oh, shouldn't I be able to reach the gym from here? Oh, there's a gym here as well. So we're going to have a gym battle today, which is friggin' awesome. Let's go check around the houses, shall we? This is how you play a Pokemon game. You have to kind of talk with every talk to everyone, so yeah, we'll have to see. Do you like Ludicolos, my Pikachus? I do like Ludicolos, like Ludicolos but I also like Pikachus as well. Only if you have long, only if you have long arms. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right, love. Huh? Pokemon? Oh no, this is no tell for people, and we're full up, unfortunately. Oh god. Okay. Well, we got a hotel here. I don't know how it's a hotel. There's there's no beds, and there's nowhere to go upstairs. Basically, this hotel has four sofas, and that's about it. I don't think that counts as an hotel, but sure. The voices are back, you better believe it. Yippee! I'm on vacation! Miss Sis brought me along! She's the best! Oh, lovely. I came here on vacation with my brother and my boyfriend. Just the three of us. Lovely. Isn't Celadon a beautiful city? So beautiful, love. Why? Why did she bring her brother along too? I was hoping for some alone time with my lady friend. Huh. Uh, hey, Kragen, how you doing, man? How you feeling today? Hopefully you're well, man. I always found Pikachu's kind of useless, sadly. Electric types are pretty meh. There are some very good electric types, and actually, Pikachu can be quite devastating. Uh, if you give it a light ball, it becomes a very, uh, very good Pokemon. Best voice actor on Twitch. <laughs> Send a mirror, I'd like to meet them. <laughs> Girl, want food? Get some food, man. I love the voices. Oof, nice. Good, I'm glad. Hey SP, how you doing, man? How you doing today? Hopefully you're well, good sir. Um, oh, Krogan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hopefully, hopefully your day gets slightly better. What are you staring at? Get lost. Either you leave or I'll make you leave. You'll make me leave outside? Do you own outside? Sure. But my brother and my boyfriend, just the two of us. Well, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's a bit weird. I'm good. Hope you're well too. Yeah, I'm well today, SP. Apart from we got a couple of technical hitches, but nothing too uh, troublesome there. Uh, oh, okay. So this old man is quite happily housing two of Team Rocket right now. All right, fella. That game where Pokemon fly through the sky is a huge hit. We're positively raking in cash now. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Oh, lovely, lovely lad. What are you doing? You making stuff? Don't touch the posters at the game corner. There's no secret switches behind any of them. All right, guys, take note. At the game corner, there's no secret switches behind the posters, all right? Wipe that from your mind. I was asked to check the record to see if anything went wrong. So yeah, my music, uh, well, try, try and chill if you're able today, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll get some joy from the stream today. Sorry though, sorry to hear that. Definitely no secret switches, guys. Someone write it down, okay? Very important. <laughs> Maybe if we offered Pokemon as prizes to the top scorers, we could make even more money. Oh, what? I wasn't talking to you, kid. I was, I was, I was talking to this bin. Hello, Mr. Bin. Oh, one day I'll be inside of you, Mr. Bin. Oh, 
because he's going to put it on his head. Uh, Rocket is so good at keeping secrets, it amazes me. Exactly. Exactly. It's great. Nope, there you go. I, I, I also love how my Onyx keeps popping out. All right. Found that count as the only one who had to start to work. Oh, dude. I'm sorry you had to deal with that, man. Honestly, it's no good. Uh, see if drive is fault. Oh, God. People learn to drive, man. Oh. Yeesh. I played so much of the game corner that my hands are twitching. Games are way too much fun these days. Nice. So as you're kind of um, kind of getting here, the games corner is actually a place where we can play games and gamble a wee bit. Gambling's always fun. Your Onyx keeps popping out. Indeed, it does. It's a real problem. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, no, no, you. You know. You know what I heard? Seems there's several floors hidden below the game corner. Great. I'd like to see them all. Oh, my Pokemon are weak, so I often buy medicines at the department store. Lovely. What about you, big fella? Having a good old meal there? Having a great old gorge on a stew or something? I'll eat all the curry they can carry. All right, go for you, fella. Can I talk to you? Hey, a new face. Welcome. This place is always packed with regulars. Oh, lovely, lovely. There you go. Can you still win Dratini here? No idea. We're going to check, Chi Chief. We're going to check. Hopefully we can, though, because that would be dope. But first... All right, let's go to the restaurant, shall we? Oh, wait, no, wait. Grand Grandma, I'm hungry. Oh, my God. Okay, kids, eh? Who'd have them? Who'd have them? All right, love. Celadon City takes pride in its efforts to keep itself clean and beautiful. The area around the game corner is a different story, though. It gets a bit rough around there. Oh, sounds awful. Sounds awful. I'd love to get to you, fella, but there's water there. I can't surf yet. And what about you? Oh, I lost again at the game corner. I guess the people who are so good at the games there must be putting in some... Uh, putting in more effort than I do. Ah, uh, you big loser. Alright, first of all, before we check the game's corner, let's see if we can actually see what we can... What? Let's see if we can see what we can win here at the game's corner. That'll do. Oh wow, the game's corner looks completely different. Oh, look at it. Ooh, and Team Rocket are here. Top left, Jesse and James. Nice. In fact, I want to play games. Let's play games. It's a game in which Pokemon surf on surfboards. Can I play that? Oh, I found a tough candy. I'm now picking up candy from an arcade floor. Lovely. It's a game in which you lead many Pokemon to a goal. Can I not play? Oh, please tell me you programmed in a game. No. Eat all the floor candy. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> there. Come on. Almost got it. Ah, uh, so close. Come on, Jesse. Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on. We've already handed over the Q-Bone to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How were, how were we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with a vehicle on it, remember? Oh. It's a poster with a vehicle. That's the best way to represent us. Guys, did you get that? Yeah? Or is it floor candy? Yeah, yeah. Looks like a fun place. Hopefully it is. I can't play any of the, any of the games, unfortunately, but sure. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Not the shadowy area, though. That's the game's <laughs> Nice. Our cute boy? Yeah, we'll save him today. The posters behind which there are defo no secret switches? Yeah, defo no secret switches. Absolutely. How you doing, fella? The game in which Pokemon fly in the sky? It's great, isn't it? If we could fly in real life, that would be much cooler than the game, though. I mean, it would be if I could actually bloody do it. And no, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes do not deceive you. This is a star you right here. Hello, star you. It's a Pokemon. I still think Pokemon missed a chance to work with Weetabix and name them Pikabix. <laughs> nice, nice. Kalo, Kalo with that top joke. Very nice. <laughs> Aren't you the gym guy? Oh, you have better things to do, champ in the making. Celadon City's uh, gym leader is Erica. She is one with nature and a user of grass-type Pokemon. She might look quiet because she does flower arrangements, but she's not one to be taken lightly. 
Now leave me to my gambling. My wife hates me for all the gambling I do here, but I just can't stop. Go for you, fella. What about you, nerdy boy? Ah, we've, we've run out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. All right, what, do you mean this? Wait, oh, sir? Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me, fella. Looks like you've got a poster with a vehicle there. Oh, wait, was that really Jesse and James over there? All right, what's well, Shark? Let's have a look, shall we? Here you go. Look at these two, right? Look at these two. Don't touch the walls. Is this a cave? Oh, my God, I hope not. I've eaten with your bigs right now, so I've ordered that. Nice. Enjoy them, man. Enjoy them. Yeah, here we go. What do you mean? What kind of vehicle is the best way to represent us? You know, those big things that blast off into space. Ah, there you go. This music's glorious, by the way. Oh, it's glorious. All right, cool. All right, all right, Team Rocket, how you doing? Love the Snorlax passed out there. Yeah, look at those Snorlaxes. Adorable, right? <laughs> Wait, can you hear it? I thought you couldn't. No, I can hear it from my TV. I just can't hear it from my headset. It's a real issue. No, not lies and deception. Just a misunderstanding, apparently. No, I can hear it from my TV at least. It's glorious, though, isn't it? I'm guarding this poster. Go away or die. Oh, hello! Oh, we're right into a battle! Here we go, fellas! We're doing it! It's Team Rocket Grunts! Let's get battling! Dun, dun, dun. We have a Raticate to lead off with, a, a normal type Pokemon, very weak to fighting type moves, and apparently I'm paralyzed. Please remind me to go to the Pokemon Center. We're going to start off with a lovely bit of Flamethrower, hopefully. Raticate uses Crunch, a dark type move. The ouch could actually do a lot of damage, and believe me, it did. And we were too paralyzed to actually move, which means that we're going to have to get out the big cheese himself, Mr. Pikachu here. Let's friggin' do this. There you go. Growlithe, get back. God damn it, Growlithe. You're a constant disappointment, Growlithe. Why'd you do this to me? All right, our Pikachu, which looks absolutely fantastic here, is about to take on the Raticate. Now, we could go Double Kick. Double Kick would actually do quite a bit of damage, but we also have new moves as well. We got Floaty Floats, a flying type move. Got Zippy Zap as well. We'll start off with a Double Kick though, see how that goes. Uh, uh, normal types are very weak to fighting moves, so that will do an absolute chunk of damage. There you go, another Crunch, which will, um, be missed thanks to our bond with our Pikachu. There you go. And we'll zippy zap for the win. Zippy zap! Boom! There you go. Lovely thing about zippy zap is that it's always a critical hit, which is fantastic. Lovely. Lovely indeed. Take that, you bugger. Oh, and Onyx grew to level 22. Nice. Oh, blast. Indeed. Blast away like a rocket. There you go. At this rate, the location of the Team Rocket hideout is going to be discovered. I better tell the boss. Oh, poor guy. Well, uh, before we actually uh, try and find that place, we're actually going to go heal up our Pokemon at the Pokemon Center, because apparently that's something I don't do. So, uh, yep, let's ride our Onyx. Oh, God, I'd love to ride an Onyx everywhere. Oh, so good. 420, I-oh, yeah, yeah, gotta love that 420, am I right? Gotta love that 420 in a Pokemon game, am I right? Yeah? No? Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, we won't be keeping Onyx forever, by the way. As glorious as it is to ride a massive friggin' rock snake, I do have plans for other Pokemon to ride. Let's just say this, I wish to ride them all. So, uh, yeah, Onyx will not be staying with us forever. He might be useful in a battle or two, but it's Onyx, so probably not. But he makes a really good traveling companion because he's a massive rock snake, and there's nothing cooler than this. Not yet, anyway. Right, so, um, man, I don't know about you, but I am an enthusiast, and I am enthusiastic about what's on the, on the, on the back of posters. Yeah, I don't know about you guys. You guys may go for the front of posters, but for me, I'm actually a big fan of the back of posters. So, uh, yeah, you see this poster here? It looks lovely from the front, but have you ever thought, man, what does it look like behind? Yeah, think of all the ways 
that you can stick a poster up. All the stuff that might be behind the poster, and yet you people keep looking at the front of it. Well, I know better. Ah, hey, a switch behind the poster. Let's push it. I did not see that coming. You heard a loud sound echo from somewhere on this floor. Uh, uh okay. Um, who who did it? Where, where did it? It's a nuke. We've just launched a nuke. Oh no, we haven't. We've just found this little place down here. Hey James, what do you think of that? What do you mean? Oh, okay, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already have your secret clue. God damn it. All right, let's go. One of the posters found in 2016 was double-sided. There you go. There you go. You would never see the other side if you didn't look at the back of the poster. There you go. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Team Rocket's secret hideout. I don't know how we found it, but we did. You could have also launched a nuke. I mean, sure. Why not? Why not? Push a button, launch a nuke. Sounds about right to me. Right. All right there, love. Shh. I'm a beautiful spy on an undercover mission. What's a child like you doing here? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just there for fun, love. I'm just there for a good time. Hehe, <laughs> you're an interesting child, that's for sure. Let me give you a present so you remember our little encounter. And she gives me a pistol so I can shoot all- No, I'm kidding. You get a Team Rocket set from the beautiful spy. <gasps> oh, just wear that set and you'll feel as if you're a Team Rocket grunt yourself. Although, you're too short to be a real grunt. That sizest, you bugger. They'd figure you, uh, figure you, figure out you were in disguise immediately. There you go. What kind of dumb spy is like, hey, I'm a spy? <laughs> exactly. A good point, SP. <laughs> Drink and train. Yeah, let's go, let's go join Team Rocket. Uh, all right. In fact, no, let's, let's do me first. Let's do me first. Screw you, Pikachu. You've got all the love. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, all right, so we've gone from a black cap to a black cap. That's a good start. We now, oh yeah, oh look at this. Oh, look at this, lads. Look at this, lads and lasses. Aye, oh, can you feel it yourself getting a wee bit more evil? There you go. I'm gonna steal all the Pokemon now. Ha ha, but what does Pikachu look like? Uh, uh, um, oh, uh, mm, uh, oh. <laughs> You know what, we can put the Diglett cap away for a little bit. We need to be undercover, okay? I don't know if any of you are spies, but we need to be undercover. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. Accessories, just gonna remove it for a second there, uh, bud. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, cool, cool. We look completely different. Yeah, yeah, look, look, exactly. We blend in, don't we? Uh, uh, hi, yeah, it's my first day. Yeah, the name's Ken. I work in accounting? What's your name? Hey, hey, don't mind me. Wait, what? What are you doing? You snuck into Team Rocket's operation? What nerve. It's my first day. You can't treat new employees like this. I'm, I'm making a living for my family of four. Yeah. Oh, no, he sent a gold map. All right, fine. How did they know exactly? Oh, my God. Oh well, it must be uh, it must be because I'm too short. I like the secret rocket grunt outfits. I know they look good, right? They look pretty cool. Holy crap! Am I on the leveled or what? All right, Growlithe, you're gonna need some help, fella. You're gonna need some help. We had the perfect disguise and everything. Exactly. We were basically dressed up as a cactus in a cactus factory. You know, you could not tell who we were. We were disguised so well. Should have told him you're a spy. That he would have let you do whatever you wanted. Oh, yeah. I, you know what, SP? That's that's actually a really good idea. See, that's why SP is the beautiful spy, and I'm just I'm just a big scrub with a growler. Why you know Arcanine? Uh, we will eventually, but we want to try and get as many of Growlithe's moves before we actually evolve him. The issue of evolving a, a stone Pokemon too quickly is that you can miss out on a lot of really good moves. So, um, yeah, we're going to evolve him later on. Uh, I can't quite remember what level I said last week. I want to say 37 or something. I can't quite remember. There is a move that I'd like to go for Growlithe at 45, but at the same time, I feel like that's a little too much, and I'm not really going to hold out for too long there, so... 
yeah, we'll, we'll hold Growlithe for now, but uh, don't worry, we will evolve him eventually. There you go, lovely Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto might evolve today, actually. Not too sure, though. Tear that, you bugger. That's what you get for messing with Ken from accounting, all right? Don't mess with Ken from accounting. All right, okay, now where's my computer? Right, do I work on a laptop or do I work on one of these proper babies? Here we go. All right, okay. This is my life now. Pikachu, go get me Go get me a coffee, all right? I'm doing some accounting. I'm going to carry the one. Also, what's this? Oh, they got me five Ultra Balls! Oh, man! What a what a welcome gift that is! I don't know if you guys have ever worked for an evil organization. I have, and the best I've ever got was a muffin basket. But I just got five Ultra Balls! Amazing! Let me call Jenny from the block and uh, tell her thank you. Uh, phone's not working. Bloody hell, what is this place? Pidgeot hype? Yeah, hype for that. Ken will mess you up. Yeah, he will. Don't mess with Ken from accounting. <laughs> I have. State of Texas, good for you, good for Texas. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> that's nice. Let's get get right, Texas. <laughs> all right, uh, hello. All right, I'm I'm looking I'm looking for coffee. Who are you? I'm Ken from accounting. How did you get here? I went through a very rigorous uh, interview program. It was very difficult. Oh, you want to battle me? Okay, fine. I mean, I've, I've got to start work in about 20 minutes, but that's okay. I'll have a quick battle with you. Have a go at my Growlithe, will you? I'm not going to keep this facade up for very long, am I? I'm going to forget what name I've made up and everything. All right, this is Flamethrower. Now, coughing is actually pretty good when it comes to special defense. However, not on this occasion, apparently. So we're very happy to two-hit KO this bad boy. Although we have been poisoned, we will need to deal with that. Uh, probably after coughing dies. Yeah, we'll go for the kill first. Go for the kill first. Uh, no, it's fine. They're falling for it. Absolutely, they're falling for it. It's, it's working perfectly. Unlike my headset audio, apparently, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, okay, right. Ivasaur, greets a 30. Ivasaur might evolve today. Ooh, get hyped for a double evolution special, ladies and gentlemen. Right, we're going to get Growlithe out of here. Uh, Growlithe, take a knee, fella. Take a knee. Let's get Ivasaur out. Your name is Kent, and you work for the economy. Oh, see, we're already muddling it up. Oh, God. I probably will end up saying that now, H7. DJ, send help. I'm entering Blackreach. Um, Ivasaur, go help Mr. Chuchi. <laughs> Good luck with that, man. Good luck with that. Blackreach is a nightmare. All right, so Rattata, a very feisty normal type uh, Pokemon that takedown will not really bother us too much because a couple of Vine Whips will destroy it. There you go. Nice and easy. Happy with that. What else do we have? What else do we have, Team Rocket? Give it to me. Another Rattata. Oof. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Please don't use takedown. If it uses takedown, we might be in trouble. Anything less will be fine. Sucker Punch, that's fine. Sucker Punch is a dart type move which will which will go first if your opponent lines up an attacking move. If I use a non-attacking move such as Poison Powder, Sucker Punch will fail. But it will always go first um, if, it, um, if the opponent uses an attacking move. There you go, there you go. Oh, we got beat bad. Yeah, you did. Boylight Team Rackets, all right. Because it's like Rocket. Rocket. Oh, so good. So good. Top of the class. Top jokes today, guys. Keep them coming. Right. Do we have an antidote? Uh, no, we don't. We have a full heal, though, so we may as well use that on your boy Growlithe. And we will also do a wee bit of healing, because why not? Growlithe gets a bit. There you go, bud. And Ivasaur gets a bit. There you go, bud. Cheers for that one. Thank you very much. Right, so let's continue to look for uh, look for a coffee machine in here. I don't know about you guys, but first thing I do when I get to work, I, oh, I get a coffee. But I also found some mighty candies. Nice. Uh, I've actually not looked at candies. We do actually have a candy jar in our bag. What do they do? Uh, a candy that is packed with energy. When given to a Pokemon, it will increase a Pokemon's attack stat. Right, okay, so these deal with individual stats. Uh, Pikachu candy, 
Candy that is packed with energy when given to a certain Pokemon, it will increase all of their stats. Right, so we can use that to buff Pikachu's stats. More floor candy, yeah, exactly. People just leave their candy all over the floor, apparently. That's very, very irresponsible. Just like this door, which I can't get past. God damn it. All right, well, there's nothing here. I'm looking for a coffee machine. Let's go downstairs. Let's see if anyone from downstairs has got a coffee machine, shall we? I mean, I've not sensed any evil yet. I don't know about you guys, but these guys seem pretty cool. Hey, fella, how you doing? I heard that you can see ghosts with the self scope. Ugh. Good for you, fella, good for you. He seems to know a lot about that self scope. Now, if you remember last week, ladies and gentlemen, one of the ghostly ladies from the Pokemon Tower actually wanted a self scope so they could see the g -g 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 ghosts. But they can't, they can't see the ghosts because they don't have a self scope. So we are looking for a self scope in here because I, I guess I guess one of these guys has it. I don't know. Hopefully we'll find out. But say hello to Hypno. Hypno is a psychic type Pokemon known for putting Pokemon to sleep. Uh, yeah, the evolved form of Drowsy, and he's a bit of a strong boy. You know what? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Probably inside the coffee machine. We'll find the coffee machine, and the self scope will just be there as well. You know what? I hope so. I sincerely hope so. Uh, that's gonna take friggin' forever. Pikachu, you're in, bud. You're in. Let's go. Let's do it, Pikachu. <sighs> Probably wasted it. <laughs> Probably wasted it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Tra Tracy from uh, from uh, Admin will be like, Who Who's lodged the silk scope in the coffee machine again? Was it you, Bob? Oh, you bugger. Yeah, and then they'll have a real old laugh about it. All right, let's go to Zippy Zap. Zippy Zap! Oh, wow. Okay, cool, cool. All right, we get hit by Psybeam. Not too bad. We'll take one of those and we'll go. You know what? I want to check out our new move. So um, they've added new moves to this game. Zippy Zap is a brand new Pokemon move, as is Floaty Fall. Floaty Fall being a... Um, uh, I'd rather you didn't use that term here, uh, Jam, Jamarog. Uh, but yeah, Floaty Fall being a flying type move. Let's, uh, let's try that one out. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. Love that. Uh, here we go. Don't like that kind of term in here. There we go. There we go. All right. Cool. Let's not let that be a thing ever again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Too late now. Uh, yeah, don't like that kind of stuff in my stream because uh, I have my chat on my screen and uh, yeah, I'd rather that not be there forever. Plus, you shouldn't really be using language like that, but that's that's fine. Uh, Jesse, I can't get my marker. It's just shards of glass. <laughs> oh man, no one wants shards of glass in their coffee, do they? Oh, that's a cool animation. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I like that move. Okay, cool. So it's interesting that Pikachu has a flying type move because electric type Pokemon don't do too well against grass. They're not particularly weak to them, but uh, they don't do too much damage with their electric type move. So uh, yeah, the flying type move really does help. So uh, yeah, I actually remember this place uh, from the Game Boy game. So Team Rocket's base is full of these spinny, twirly platforms here. So uh, yeah, this is the puzzle. I, I, I don't know how this is a thing. Is this motivation? Who know? Who, who knows, man? Who knows? We're twirling? Yeah, we are. Best twirlers in Kanto. <laughs> Before Ken has to get dizzy to get to work? Exactly. Although saying that, we are getting free stuff along the way though, so that's absolutely fine. All right, so the yellow platforms, of course, stop the twirling, so we can use that to our advantage to grab a TM Rest. Rest is a move which will heal you of all of your health and will also heal your status. However, it will put you to sleep for two turns. Uh, all right, we can go on this one, and we can go on this one. What's up here? Uh, okay, so that's back to the start. So what's down here? Then we go left. And then, and then, ladies and gentlemen, we go uh, this way. 
and but I kind of want to check what's up there, so we're going to check up here first instead. <laughs> Floor nugget. Remind me to sell my nuggets as well. Holy crap! So last week, if you weren't here, we saw a a crown which our Pikachu can wear, but it costs nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine poker dollars, I believe, uh, which is a lot of goddamn poker dollars. So your nuggets on the street. Uh, yeah, is that a sexy thing? That sounds like a sexy thing. But uh, yeah, we will sell them on the street. No, it's a drug thing, I bet. I bet it's a drug thing. Is that a drug thing? I don't know. Either way, I'm innocent and adorable. Uh, all right, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. Either way, we need to sell them. It's a sexy thing then. Okay, good, good. I, 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 didn't, I didn't get it straight away. But it's, it's, it's sure, we'll do that. We'll sell our nuggets on the street. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. I think we've done it. I think we've got through the gauntlet of the twirliness here. Oh, big hugs. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you for the big hugs. You're the best. All right, so the elevator doesn't work. Maybe this phone will. Hello? Coffee? No? All right. All right, we'll look for more coffee up here then. Uh, oh, this looks like a place that will have coffee. Look, everyone's working. There's, like, laptops and, like evil plans that probably aren't that evil. Yeah, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Hello, fella. Do you know what coffee is? What do you hope to achieve by coming here? Uh, coffee. I've, I've got work in, like, 15 minutes. Like, uh, if everyone could stop battling me, I could actually, you know, get to work on my accounting. But, but no, you guys just keep throwing Pokemon at me. Just a latte, bro. Aye. If I don't get my skinny mocha choker latte in the morning i don't know what any of those words mean by the way then I i'm i'm very grouchy okay so if you could just send your voltorb back to hell from where it came from and give me some coffee that would be great okay oh god swift god damn it why do you guys listen to this nonsense again i don't even know uh, it's fine though. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Get some experience from that Voltorb. This won't do. Because oh, it's the best nonsense. Absolutely. Can agree with that. <laughs> Can get nonsense, mate. Alright, what do we have here? Hyper Potion. I wish I was hyper. I would if I had some coffee. What's in the bin? Anything? No? Alright. Uh, who else do we have here? Alright, love. How are you doing? Intruder alert. Wow, what a sexy intruder alert uh, voice that is. Mm. All right, let's do it. What have you got for me, love? You've got an Ekans. Ekans, just a normal poison type. A big old snake, nothing to worry about here. A Growlithe should do fine unless it starts using glare and friggin' constrict and poison moves and everything that just ruins my day. Put a couple of flamethrowers, hopefully we'll do the job. Yep, two hit KO, and there is the glare. Glare will paralyze us. Unfortunately, it has about 70% chance to paralyze us. It's a very good move because most of the par uh, paralysis moves tend to be electric, which are, you know, they don't work on ground types, but uh, glare is a normal type move, so it works very well indeed. Our Growlithe is always paralyzed, yeah. That's the problem with being the uh, the lead-off Pokemon. You always tend to get the bad stuff at the start. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm bloody starving. Get some food, lad. Get some food. Have you not eaten today? It's bloody 10 o'clock. Bloody hell. There you go. What was the last thing everyone ate today? Let me know. Let me know. All right, now we have Arbok. Arbok is the evolved form of uh, Ekans. Uh, notice that Ekans is snake backwards and Arbok is kind of cobra backwards. Uh, Alright, we're going to use Pikachu. We are going to use Pikachu. Let's have a look at Arbok. This is the first Arbok we've seen in full beautiful 3D. So let's have a look at it, shall we? Here we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that sexy Arbok. Chocolate with little bits of hazelnut toffee in it. Oh, sounds so good. Sounds so good. Uh, let's use Thunderbolt. Let's try Thunderbolt, shall we? Here we go. This is a move P uh, Pikachu is known for. There you go. Beautiful wee bit of Thunderbolt there. Just a sad sandwich. Oh, why was it so sad? You should have cheered it up before you ate it. 
Uh, some lunch at the office uh, doing overtime, but it wasn't anything exciting. Oh, that's a big rip. That's a big rip. Office food. Oh. You always want to be home, don't you? So you can cook yourself something nice and nice and wholesome. Yeah. Oh, Gyarados wants to learn Dragon Tail. Yes! Absolutely. We take Dragon Tail because we don't like Splash. There you go. There you go. All right, cool. So Gyarados now actually has a move. It's not a very good move for Gyarados, but it'll do. It'll do, ladies and gentlemen. It'll do. Dragon Tails was a kid's show here. Was it? Oh, nice, nice. Hopefully it was a good one. Hopefully it was a bloody good one. Starburst? Is that is that a dragon from Dragon Tails? I might know it. It sounds familiar. Can you tell me more about it? All right, let's do that. And let's do that. I barely remember it apart from the name. Ah, fair enough. Um, I remember a show with dragons in it. Uh, I want to say Pocket Dragons Adventures or something like that. I don't know. It, it was a long time ago. Colorful as heck. What? Uh, what is? Uh, let me know. No, I last day. St oh, sorry, you last day Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Chat delay kills me. It really does. It makes me sound like such an idiot. Hopefully you enjoyed your Starburst though, my good friend. <laughs> Dragon Tails is colorful as hat. Ah, cool. Nice. Alright, at least a few people have heard of it then. That's cool. Right, okay, so we can't actually do stuff up there. So, where do we go? Um... I think my reply was a little late, don't worry. That's all right, it's all good, it's all good. That's the danger of being a streamer that actually has to read everything ever. Uh, all right, I didn't see these stairs. Okay, we'll go down here. Dragon Tales was 1999, I think. Ah, nice. Cartoon expert, Chi Chi. What a guy, what a ledge. Uh, kids show expert, sorry. Might not be a cartoon, I don't know. I don't really know anything about it, not from not from uh, just hearing the name, anyway. Uh, okay, what do we have around here, then? Oh, thank you for the hugs, H7. You're the best. You're the best. Send you a link in Discord? Yeah, please do. I'd love to see that. Alright, uh, let's talk to this lady before we go twirling again. Uh, Alright, love, how you doing? <sighs> Look who finally showed up, huh? We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Finally! Someone who is actually here to take Ken from accounting to his desk and to get some goddamn coffee. That will owe oh, another Pokemon battle. Alrighty then. This this must be like I don't know, like the uh, like the intro that everyone does here at Team Rocket. Like yeah, you know it's fine. It's fine. You know this 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 is this is okay. I'm very good at Pokemon battling. I'll battle anyone. This is how you make friends in the workplace. If I legit uh, had to wait this long for coffee, there would have been blessed. <laughs> yeah, I should probably send you out as my Pokemon. <laughs> You'd probably destroy all these all these fools in the pursuits for coffee. Haha, <laughs> very good. Alright, so that bird will actually reduce Golbat's uh, physical attack by a hell of a lot, actually. So that's really good. It'll also take damage over time. I think, uh, I think I'd do better. Krogan, yep, you'd be a pretty good Pokemon as well, man. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. There you go. You guys are the best Pokemon team. <laughs> Alright, burn Golbat down to the ground. Feels good, man. I'd have no weakness. Yeah, for sure. For sure, dude. Indestructible you are. Friggin' indestructible. What? I lost? No! Yes! You did lose. You lost to a child, also a Pokemon master, but you weren't to know. Also, I'm Ken from accounting. My weakness is coffee. Oof. Gotta love that coffee, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, what do we have here? Ooh, Dark Pulse. So Dark Pulse is a special Dark type move. Uh, that's probably gonna be uh, useless for us. Uh, I don't know, we, we've not, our team's not solid yet. Our team currently is Growlithe, Ibisaur, Pidgeotto, Pikachu. These two slots here are up for grabs, so maybe Dark Pulse will come good later. Not too sure, though. 
Have Team uh, have Team Rocket actually achieved any evil things that are impressive? Because I can't really. Uh, can't. I, I think I know what you're trying to say. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think a couple of uh, teams have actually done some pretty bad stuff, uh, and then were stopped. But Team Rocket, not really. Yeah, I can't speak. Don't worry. No, I got you, man. I got you. They kill the Cubone as well. Yeah, I suppose that's pretty evil. Yeah. Hiding in the coffee machine, totally evil as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Team Rocket still Pokemon. Yeah, so, like, here's the fun thing about teams in the Pokemon games. There's there's, there's many teams. You know, Team Plasma, Team, uh, team Flare, uh, Team Aqua, Team Magma. There's been many teams with uh, throughout all of the Pokemon games. And as the Pokemon games have uh, kind of you know, continued through the generations, the teams have become slightly more evil with their plans. Uh, for example, Team Rocket in the first game, they were just they were just stealing Pokemon. Now that's bad, don't get me wrong. But by the time you get up to Team Plasma and Team Flare, they're talking about world domination and actually world destruction. I mean, I suppose in a sense, Team Aqua and Magma were also kind of destroying the world as well. Flooding the world, not a great idea. Um, but yes, uh, it, it, it does get a bit serious as you go through the generations, that's for sure. Uh, right, where are we going? Over here, I think. It went from gangsters to pizza. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly, man, you got it. So basically, it's uh, messed up anyway and the speeding up the process. Basically, yeah. Hey Adelwyn, can I be on Team DJ? Absolutely. Um, what What are your qualifications when it comes to whatever my team does? Because I don't really know. But of course you can. Who else wants to be on Team DJ? Anyone? No? Okay. Cool. <laughs> there we go. But how are you doing today Adelwyn? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Hopefully you're most well. KMS on Team DJ. Uh, down on Team DJ, SP on Team DJ, right, beautiful. That's really going to help speed up the soul uh, taking process because I don't know if you know this, but I, I'm taking a lot of viewers' souls and then using them to power up a death laser. So um, yeah, if you could like, you know, take some souls from people and then give me your souls as well, that would be awesome. I'm already a Venonet. You're the best Venonet, man. <laughs> You've already got mine. Indeed, I do. I can be the stand-in, Dan. Oh, you could be my body double, like Handsome Jack in the pre-sequel. He has a body double. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Borderlands, sorry, if you don't know what I'm on about. I, I, I barely know what I'm on about. Uh, anyway, all right, lad, how you doing? Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs or die. Or else. I'll do your stunts. Nice. Dan is my stunt double. Oh, man. Never had a stunt double before. That's a feels good, man. <laughs> All right, another rat answer. Nothing to worry about here. He's going to do your bedroom scenes, DJ. Apparently, Dan. <laughs> Have fun with that, Dan. All right, we're going to get crunched. Ow. Okay, nope. Okay, alright, down to seven. Seven health is uh, a little too dodgy if you ask me. Alright, we're gonna get to Ivasaur. I would love it if Ivasaur evolved today. That would make my absolute like day. Like It would be amazing if Ivasaur evolved. So hopefully we'll get to a high enough level to do that. Ivasaur and Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto might be a stretch, but Ivasaur, I feel like we can do it. So we'll try and give Ivasaur some love today. And then maybe we'll have a double evolution day. Oh, he doesn't love a double evolution day, guys. There you go. And we'll also need to catch some Pokemon as well. I think we actually have enough Pokemon to get the Charmander. Not too sure, though. I can't actually remember. Either way, Ivasaur, fine whip. Fine whip. There you go. Oh, wow. Actually, you're pretty strong. We're going to go for Elite Seed. 
Right, okay, nothing to worry about with Sonic Boom there. We'll get the Leap Seed on just to get a bit of health and to turn this uh, three hit KO into a two hit KO with Vine Whip. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, it should be. We should be all right here. Remember, Leap Seed will do damage and we'll get a bit of that back in health. Vine Whip should do the job. And, uh, yeah? Leap Seed should do the job. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. Pokemon Master. I know what I'm talking about. Barely. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, you do. I try my best, man. I try my best. All right. Okay, cool. So uh, we need to heal up a wee bit. I've noticed that we're actually forced to heal up a wee bit more now. Like, at the start of the game, everything was, like, you know, nice and easy and stuff. And uh, it's still reasonably fine, but I'm getting chunked quite a bit by these Pokemon that we're facing. I mean, it's probably because we're starting off with a slightly underlevel Growlithe, but... Yeah, dang, we're getting hurt a wee bit. That's fine, though. That's fine. I don't mind a challenge. Uh, I don't actually know which way we came from. We came from... Up, I believe. So, down here... I believe? Eh? Yeah, you lot new. You lot new. Ooh, free stuff. What do we have? It's a PP up. Woo! So yeah, PP up will allow us to uh, increase the PP of a certain move, which means we are able to use it more uh, in a battle, which is awesome. And we also get a Hyper Potion, which is the, well, one of the best kinds of potions you can get. Heals for about 200 HP. Fabulous. Could be worse. Could be like all those skeletons in Oblivion yesterday. Oh my god, please do not remind me of that. <laughs> I still have nightmares. <laughs> PP up! <laughs> oh, oh, oh god, yeah. Filthy. Filthy, I know. Hey, is this the coffee machine? Hey bud, can I have the coffee machine here? <laughs> What's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? No, I said coffee. Of course not. I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. <laughs> what an asshole. It made me giggle too, Dan. <laughs> and me. Gonna have to watch that VOD? Go for it, man. It was, it was a nightmare. 12, by the way. <laughs> 12, by the way, smiley face. Alright, cool. Grimer. Look, oh, look at Grimer. Oh, I don't know if we've seen a Grimer yet, but look at that splodgy boy. Oh, he's a goopy boy, our, Glim uh, our Grimer. Oh no, we're out of flamethrower. All right, that's no good. Uh, Pokemon, let's go with uh, Pikachu on this occasion. I don't think we've seen Grimer yet. Have we? Have we seen a Grimer? I don't know. Grimer's cool though. I love Grimer, he's such a happy little toxic sludge pile. Everyone's been trying to cheer me up today even though the thing I need in these situations in a few days is clear my head. Well, only you can uh, try and do that, man. Get away from people, man. Like, honestly, you don't even have to watch the stream today if you don't want to. If you need to go clear your head, bruh, go for it, man. Go for it. Stream's always here for you, dude, but uh, when you've had times like yours, sometimes you do need to, I don't know, find a way to relax a bit. Not in this game, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I th maybe we saw it in Sapphire, but not in this game. Which is cool, because I like seeing the, the flighty boys. No stream is keeping my mind off of it. All right, good, good. Glad I can help. Glad I can help, good sir. Glad I can help. All right, there we go. Nice and good. No. Yes. Lurk. Hey, Wink. How you doing, man? I, I mean, I can't ask you how you're doing because you just lurked. So now, so now we're at a bit of an impasse here. Like, you can't resp respond to me because you've activated Lurk. But here I am asking you how you are. I will never know now! God damn it, Wink! But I love you anyway, good sir. Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Gah! Now how am I supposed to keep you from taking the lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of... struggle. <laughs> struggle! It's funny because that's a Pokemon move. Oh, hilarious. Oh, wait. He took the key! I hope my bosses don't hear about this. Wait, he just yeeted the key on top of the wall. 
Haha, -ha, phew! Without that key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss! If you think you can get it back from up there, then I'd sure like to see you try! Haha! -ha. What a comedian! I know, right? He just, he just yeeted it up there! It's too high up! You can't reach that, you big silly idiot! I love this part! Oh, well hopefully I will as well! Pika? Uh-oh. Maybe Pikachu could reach it! If there was some way to climb up there... Uh... Alright, alright, alright. I, I can do it, I can figure it out. Alright. No one friggin' yeets me out of a key. Yeah, alright. How do I do it? Uh, don't tell me. Um... Adele, when this might be very frustrating to watch, I apologize. Please don't tell me anything. Uh, floaty fly. I don't think that work. I don't think it works that. Oh wait, does it work that way? It doesn't work. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Pikachu. Pikachu seems a little embarrassed about something. You can do this, right? Oh no, that's light up and chop down. Okay. All right, you can chop down and you can light up. That's about it, though. What does that do? Oh, okay, can't be used. Oh, oh he's shaking his head. Oh, adorable. All right, okay. Apparently, that's not it. Apparently, Floaty Fly is not it. Okay, so... Uh... Uh... We don't go up. Wait, hold on. There's no way you're getting the lift key now. Not unless you know some way to walk on top of the wall or something. Like that would happen. That Pokemon of yours looks pretty nimble, I gotta say. Ah... Uh, okay. All right, okay. All right. Okay, all right. Man, gee, I wonder what I need to do. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe I need to put out the fire of this entire situation by using the fire extinguisher. No? Hmm. Okay. Maybe I need to plan a little better by using these plans. There's a note on the wall with a warning scrolled on it. Please don't let any Pokemon in... See? I know you're trying to give me... The answer, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to act dumb, all right? <laughs> what a silly little rat, exactly. Oh, this is fun, I have no idea what to do. Exactly, I'm trying to act like I have no idea what to do, but it's even telling me what to do. All right, fine, Pikachu, go in. We're, we're half-life in this right now. If there were a step stool or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top of here. Or top from here. Look around and see if you can find something you can climb up on. All right. The mystery. The mystery continues. All right. It's it's not advised to ever stand on a chair with wheels, but maybe this is the answer. This chair could probably be used as a step. Look, have a good old look. We don't actually have a look command, ladies and gentlemen. You don't need to do it, but uh, it's all good. Right, you should never ever use a wheelie chair to stand up on, unless you're doing some office jousting. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. Up you go! Oh, you got you. oh, look at this crime! Now's the time for your partner to shine! Get the key that the Team Rocket Grunt threw. Wait. Oh! <gasps> Oh, Adelwyn! Oh! Oh! My dream come true! Oh! Oh! When I was four years old, uh, four years old, and my mother said, Hey, Dan, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, I want to be a Pikachu. And now, look at me. My mother said, I was a crazy idiot. She sent me to a mental asylum. But look at me now. I'm a bloody Pikachu. Oh, hello. What do we have here? He's like a rat? Yeah, he's a cool rat, though. <laughs> I love it, Eldalwin. You know me so well. <laughs> Good get it, little buddy. Yeah. Where did that Q-bone come from, boss? <laughs> Two of my underlings decide to bring it here without my permission. The skull on his head is very beautiful. We should be able to sell it for a good price once it becomes a Marowak. 
Uh oh. Well, that's no good. They're gonna sell that friggin' uh, skull of uh, key bones at this rate. Uh, Alright, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, oh. It, wait, oh, wait, oh, yeah, oh, wait, oh, there we go, busted that. Look at me go, I'm a Pikachu, guys, I'm a Pikachu. All right, Dan, how you doing? I'm Pikachu, mate. Calling for the vents, a cool rat is a dead rat. Oof, feels bad, man. Wait, oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, I love this, I know, right? Isn't this like the best James Bond film you've ever watched ever? I mean, look at me go, look at me go. Pikachu got the left key. All right. Did you just, did you hear something just now? I did. There was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Me elf. Never mind. It must just be me out hungry tummy. <laughs> Don't get me all worried over nothing. I can't do Jesse's voice as you can clearly tell. Uh, right, can I just jump down? There we go. I love this. It's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Best James Bond film. There you go. We have the lift key. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, you just got counter yeeted. Wait, where are you? No, he ran away before I could destroy him with words. God damn it. <gasps> Thank you for the hundred pog bits. I appreciate that, KMS. Big hugs for you. And it's awesome how I can hear the bit noise through my headphones. <laughs> but I can't hear my game. Oh, uh, woe is me. Right, let's go find ourselves an elevator, shall we? Let's go find an elevator and... Yeah, let's friggin' get out of here. Uh, where are elevators at nowadays? I don't think it's down here, is it? No, it's upstairs. It's upstairs, it is. It's upstairs. We must elevate ourselves in order to find... The elevator, which I think is down here, if I remember correctly. Woo! Twirly boys, twirling around. Look at this girl, look at this girl. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Top bit of twirling. Right, uh, we can do a bit of this, I believe, and then maybe we can do a bit of this. And then maybe we can do this. Ah, right, top twirling, top twirling. Best twirlers on Twitch right now. Look at us go. Type that, I type that as you were saying it. No, bloody delay, right? Bloody delay. Right, I see an elevator. Shove that key in. Or it just opens straight away. Shed brain, you know it. <laughs> All right, so what is on basement floor number four? I don't know, let's have a look-see, shall we? Let's have a look-see, what have we got? Ooh, item. An elixir, very good indeed. We love a good elixir. Elixir's very good for uh, curing our PP. <laughs> that sounded all kinds of wrong. <laughs> uh, right, I'm gonna go to floor one just to see if I've missed anything. Uh, oh, hello, fella. Are you way out? You're probably way out, aren't you? How you doing, lad? Are you lost, little child? Yeah. That's what the doc will give you, yes, indeed. The elixir. <laughs> Alright, let's go. The elixir for pee pee. No, um, it's, uh, it cures, uh, I think it's like a portion of the pee pee for every move that you have available to you, uh, as opposed to max elixir, which will cure every single pee pee point that you're missing. Uh, right, okay, so, yes, Growlithe is, Growlithe actually, you know what, we may as well, uh, demonstrate it now. So, Growlithe has zero PP out of ten in Flamethrower, which means that he can't actually use Flamethrower anymore until he goes to a Pokemon Center. But, of course, we're not here at a Pokemon Center, we're here in Team Rocket Secret Lab. So, we are going to get our Aether, and what Aether will do is it will recover ten PP to a single move. So, we use the item on Growlithe, and we put it on Flamethrower, and then suddenly we will have 10 out of 15 PP for Flamethrower, which means we can use it again in battle. Uh, PP stands for Power Points, if you, uh, I believe anyway, if uh, you don't like saying the word PP. <laughs> so much PP, I know, right? So oh, it's making a mess, I know. Yeah, there's, uh, th there's a lot of terms which are kind of reduced down to uh, two or three letters in this game, so uh, yeah. Gotta get you get used to it when it, it, it becomes second nature to a Pokemon trainer. 
<laughs> Alright, Growly, you got this, bud. You got this. Alright, knock him out with flamethrower, buddy. Go for it. There we go. Bash. Take a bit of that. Top flamethrower right there. To the rest of us, it's just funny. Yeah, exactly. To people who don't really know much about Pokemon, hearing PP is just insanely hilarious. All right, Ghastly. Uh, all right, we're gonna use Pikachu for Ghastly. All right, so Ghastly is a Poke. Uh, sorry, I'm here. Well, he is a Pokemon, or she could be a lady. Uh, Ghastly is actually a Ghost type Pokemon. I think it's the first Ghost type we've actually fought. So yes, yeah, so there's Ghastly. Lovely, lovely Ghastly. Uh, ghost types are actually completely immune to normal type moves, but also fighting type moves as well. Not that that really concerns us right now, because we're just going to use Zippy Zap. Zippy Zap! Boom! Take that. We found the Elder Scroll. Nice. I hate Black Rage, dude. It's friggin' awful. He's quite powerful. Ghastly? Ghastly can be very powerful, yes. Especially when it gets to its final evolutionary form. But it's already been mentioned tonight, actually. All right, so this is our Skyrim exit, I guess. Uh-oh, that ruckus somehow opened the door. Don't you just hate it when a ruckus opens a door? Right, we are going to go back to uh, four, I believe. Was it four? I think it was four, right? Yeah, we got the key on two. Yeah, we need to be on four. All right, so let's heal up. Uh, what are we healing? We are healing... Um, Full heal. Where are my full heals at? Uh, am I blind? Uh, I might be. Oh, uh, yeah? Am I blind? I am blind. I thought I had a full heal. Do I not have a full heal? Oh, I don't. I must have only had one. Wow. Ghostly is no joke at times. Haunter, right? Uh, well, Gengar uh, is the final evolutionary form. Yeah, Ghastly uh, does alright as well, actually. Uh, apparently I am all out of, uh, heals for poison, which really, really sucks. I gotta go do some stuff, but I'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Have a good night. Hopefully I'll see you later, bruh. Have fun with whatever you're up to. Uh, alright. Okay, as Growlithe is poisoned, we're gonna put Pikachu at the lead. You forgot Gengar? Yeah. In fact, no, actually, we're gonna put Ivasaur at the lead. Um... Yeah, we'll let Ivasaur take the lead for now. Ooh, okay. All right, we've got a big deal right now, ladies and gentlemen. We have been looking for the Silphscope. Instead, we've found Team Rocket's Jesse and James. You! You're that twerp from Mount Moon! Just how long are you going to follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? Uh, I want to join Team Rocket, lass. What? R really? You certainly do show potential, and you look so good in our uniform. Though, you're not really as beautiful as me. W wait a minute, you're trying to trick me. <laughs> Indeed I am. It doesn't matter. There's, there's no way we're letting you through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat. Let's do it! Team Rocket, let's go! Catch you later. Yeah, see you later, SP. I thought it was Haunter for a second. Nah, Ghastly, Haunter, then Gengar. These Team Rocket girls have so much confidence. They do, man. I mean, I mean, look at that hair. You can't argue with that hair right there. Uh, let's do it. Haunter turns into Gengar when traded. Interesting. Uh, Gengar is his evolution. Yeah, you got to trade it, um, which is interesting. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, can you lead seed in our box? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. And also, let us use Thunderbolt on Arbok. We're going to take out Arbok first, or try to anyway. Arbok is the slightly stronger of the two. Which fossil did you pick? Uh, I actually... Uh, dome, I believe. I think, it's, I think I picked Dome. I can't actually remember. I want to say Dome, though. Um, yeah. Oh, God, please don't kill Pikachu. Okay, good. All right, there we go, okay, all right. We're all right for now, but Pikachu's in a bit of trouble. Okay, um. Oh. Can Pikachu survive? Uh, uh, not really. I was saying that if Pikachu doesn't attack, then Arbok's probably gonna knock it down anyway. 
Oh, all right. Um, okay. This is this is nervous times right now, ladies and gentlemen. Pikachu could actually die from this. Pikachu, use Sippy Zap on Ibok. Pray, children. Here we go. Sippy Zap. Bang. Oh, <gasps> it lived. Oh no, Pikachu. Oh no. Okay, Ibisaur is fine. Ibisaur can kind of take it. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, Pikachu almost perished. All right, what about you? What about you, uh, Weezing? What have you got for me, Weezing? Weezing, you sludge. Oh! 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 Clutchy McClutchosaurus! All right, okay. Uh, oh! God, I forgot the Elder Scrolls way 20. Yeah, they're pretty heavy, dude. You're, lucky, you're so lucky Albuck was too stupid. Yeah, exactly. If it targeted Pikachu, we would have been dead. Uh, all right. Uh, in in the business, this is what we call friggin' panic stations. So, uh, yeah. We're going to use a Hyper Potion on Ivasaur. Oh, is it 120? I thought it was uh, 200 health. Uh, anyway, I, I got my healing wrong, apparently. And we're going to use a Super Potion on Pikachu. Did they change the healing on Super and Hypers? I didn't think it was 60 for a sleeper. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. Right, we're going to go for a full heal. So, uh, yeah, Pikachu will heal himself. He will be clapped, indeed. Not on, not on my watch, though. <laughs> you can do it, I believe. Yeah, we should be okay here. We should be all right. I mean, this sludge is going to hurt. Yeah, that sludge hurt a bit. About 30 health. Thankfully, Ibisaur is not going to get poisoned anytime soon, so that's fine. We're going to use Takedown, a normal type move on uh, Weezing, and we're going to use Thunderbolt on Weezing. Uh, ooh, are we? No, we're going to use Zippy Zap. Um, Weezing has a much stronger special defense, which um, Thunderbolt is a special attack. So we're going to use Zippy Zap instead. That's the more physical of the uh, two electric moves that we have. All right. Zippy Zap! Boom! That did nothing. Holy crap. All right. Take down. Bang! That did nothing as well. Holy crap. Oh, wait. Or is it physical defense? Am I misremembering Weezing's defenses? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, we'll get Leech Seed on you just to kind of play the slow game. And we'll try Thunderbolt. I can't remember Weezing's defenses now. Maybe he's got good, spe uh, good physical? I don't know. Let's see. Thunderbolt. Yeah, okay. All right. No, it's the other way around. I wish Gengar looked like what Haunter did for the final Evo, honestly. I wish Gengar looks like what Haunter did. Yeah, do you actually prefer Haunter's design to Gengar? I quite like Gengar's design. Like, his equal parts, like, evil looking, but also mischievous looking. I kind of like that combination. Um, although Haunter looks very cool as well. All right, as we've got such uh, low health, we'll use a Vine Whip, and Zippy Zap should do the job here. Uh, Weezing is a tough Pokemon, a very bulky Pokemon indeed. So I, I, I should have expected to take a few hits there. Haunter looks like something ghostly. Yeah, it does actually look like a ghost, because it's got like the wispy kind of body and stuff. I like Haunter's floating hands. Yeah, that is cool, actually. Haunter is the more evil one out of the three. Yeah, I... I I, I, it's fine. It's fine. Each to their own, I guess. But we now have access to Razor Leaf. Uh, Razor Leaf is very good. Well, I say very good. Uh, 55 power versus 45. All right, it'll do. We'll get rid of Vine Whip for Razor Leaf. It's slightly better. We did it. We did it. And I just sort of learned a new move in Razor Leaf. Ah, oh, very good indeed. Pikachu gets himself a level as well, up to level 32, which is absolutely fabulous. There you go. Oh, we did it. Yeah, take that, nerds. Such a dreadful twerp. But I was so confident this time. And we just got like three grand. <laughs> hmm, how infuriating. Don't let it go to your head just because your Pokemon were a teeny tiny bit stronger. Exactly. And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We'll just use brute force to... Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Eek! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! 
There you go. Amazing. Let's go see what Pikachu wants. What do you want, bud? Can I go look side of the play? I, I think he looks fine. I think he looks fine. I think he looks really cool. Um, I completely miss what he said, by the way. Are you right there, bud? Completely miss what you said, the uh, uh, Pikachu, but that's fine. Smell you later. Yeah, smell you later, you jokes. He's like the big monster in Monsters, Inc. Out of place. I'll respectfully disagree with you on that one, but as I said, each to their own. I will, I, you are allowed to have your opinion and I respect that, but uh, I, I think he looks, I think he, I think Gengar looks great and I think he looks uh, perfectly fine within that evolution. All right, let's go see who this guy is that uh, this blue-eyed fellow is talking to. Just, just one look at this self scope and it's plain to see Silphco definitely has the technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. Hmm, a machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen? It's nothing but a useless toy. Still, yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer. We've your plans to take over Silphco for Team Rocket. Yes, sir. There you go, look at this sexy boy. Oof. What is a child doing here? You listened in on a conversation without saying a word? I don't much care for that. I am Archer, an admin of Team Rocket, and I do not go easy even on children. Oh! Oh, we get to take on a big board! An admin of the mighty Team Rocket. Let's do it. Say hello to Archer. Let's do it. Oh, he's got a wheezing, but thankfully we're 1v1 here. Oh, did we heal? Uh, no, we didn't need to. That's fine. All right, cool. We'll use Leech Seed. <laughs> Archer is a bit of a jerk. Maybe he knows where the coffee is? One, some, oh, hi. Someone should know where the coffee is. Okay. Ouch. Forgot he learned Flamethrower. Or could learn Flamethrower anyway. But yeah, someone will hopefully know where the coffee is. All right, I think this one's for you, Pikachu, because uh, we need some power in here. Well, they're saying that, you're pretty dead as well. Oh my god. In the bin where it belongs. What, the coffee? Dude, we need to wake need to wake up, man, so we can do our new job in accounting. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, we can't take a flamethrower. Man, I'm, I'm in dire straits here. Okay, no, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be alright. Alright, we'll get Pidgeotto. I can wake up without coffee, guess it's because I'm young? I mean, everyone can wake up without coffee. It's just that some people prefer to uh, drink it because it helps them kind of feel a little brighter in the morning. Uh, yeah. It's fine, you can do it? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Uh, Alright, we are going to use Wing Attack here, and hopefully we'll do some damage here. Let's go, Pidgeotto. Oh my god, we can't do anything. Weezing is so friggin' strong, dude. I don't like coffee, so I don't have a choice. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it either, Meek. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way, Meek. Hopefully you're well. Hopefully you've had a wonderful day. Oof, we're getting beaten. I mean, I'll do a nice dinner in that fight. Nice, nice, good, good. Uh, we're getting our butt kicked here. Holy crap, man. All right. All right, we're just gonna have to do everything we can here. I hate coffee and the fact it's pretty addictive. Yeah, don't blame you. Chilling. I beat this game the other day and somehow managed to get two shinies during this playthrough. Nice. What were your shinies, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, how did you enjoy it? Hopefully you enjoyed the game. Uh, throw everything at him. Yeah, I'm having to. I'm having to actually bloody use Gyarados. Magic. Oh, you've got a shiny magic card. Very good. Very good. Shiny Chansey as well. That's really cool. Good for you. Good for you, friend. All right. Uh, Leech Seed's going to do the job here. So what we're actually going to do is use a super potion on Pikachu. And then Pikachu will take on... If, well, if he has any more Pokemon on him. But yeah, shiny magic card. Shiny magic card is like a golden color, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's really cool. Good for you, man. Good for you. 
Right, okay. Cool. So now Gyarados is dead. We can now use Pikachu and we can uh, clean up this team. My god. We've had it rough today, ladies and gentlemen. Team Rocket. <laughs> Who would have thought, eh? Who would have bloody thought? Alright, Zippy Zap! Zippy Zap! Smack! There we go. Everyone's so strong? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I know we missed like the last two trainers of. Um... Ah, to be fair, we've actually missed quite a few trainers. <laughs> We'll get them on the way back. Fall back to a Gyarados straight away. Yeah, get that, get that, uh, that red Gyarados. <laughs> All right, and now we have Golbat. I was saying that I don't know why, but I was always reluctant to evolve my shiny Pokemon. I don't know why. I think the only shiny Pokemon I chose to evolve was uh, Lotad, and that's about it. Yeah, I don't know why. That's just a weird thing with me, though. Anyway, uh, all right, let's use Bundle Ball. Red Gyarados is your fave. Nice. Glad you like it, man. Glad you like it. All right, Golbat down. Nice and easy to the electric type moves. Very good indeed. Take that, Archer. Yeah, nerd. Hopefully, I remember your voice. What a blunder. Oh. I had a shiny Dragonite. Nice. Shiny Dragonite's green, isn't it? Yeah. Shiny Pikachu's are a scam. Yeah, so shiny Pikachu's. So normal Pikachu is like yellow. Shiny Pikachu is like a sun tanned yellow, I guess. Like it's still kind of yellowy. Is, is it, basically, it doesn't change that much. It's a bit of a scam. <laughs> Tear that, Archer. F -f 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 Forgive me, Giovanni. For me to be defeated by a simple child. He loses his voice when he's panicky and, you know, sad. Uh, Alright, we're going to heal up like crazy. Holy crap. Shiny Charizard is my second favorite colorway. Nice. Shiny Charizard is uh, black, I believe. That's really cool. Alright, Ivasaur, get some healing, bud. Get some healing. Um, Pidgeotto, get some life. Jesus Christ. Pidgeotto got absolutely tombstoned. Look at this fella. There you go. Uh, we don't really need Gyarados too much, but we'll give a revive to Gyarados as well, and we'll whack a super potion on everyone. Black, white, spellion, red wings, and black outline. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Like, I'm not a massive fan of Charizard, but you got to appreciate the shiny design at the very least. All right, let's go talk to the big man, the big cheese, the king of Team Rocket. Mr. Giovanni and Cubo! Bella! Yeah! How you doing, big fella? So, you defeated Archer. And my name is still question mark, even though Archer already told you that my name was Giovanni. But forget that little blunder. It continues to be mysterious if I keep using question marks. <laughs> I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket catches Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. <gasps> oh, I had no idea what your name was. I am shocked. Oh, poor little Cubone. Shiny Blastoise is cool too. Yeah, yeah, Shiny Blastoise is pretty good. <gasps> oh, look at that painting on the wall of a Persian. Oh, you can't see it now, but man, there you go. And apparently my good friend Zari is now playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. Good to know. Um, what? You want me to release the Cubone? I do, yes. Please. You saw it? Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Meowth be jealous of Persian? I know, right? Persian's all sexy, and Meowth's like, well, not. <laughs> You came barging into our hideout just for that? What an amusing child. But for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. We're gonna battle Giovanni! Let's do this! Hey Rhino, how you doing today? Cute bone? Yeah. How you doing today, Rhino? Hopefully you're well, my good friend. Giovanni's trademark Pokemon. It's Persian. Here we go. Oh, God. Okay. Where's Giovanni's orange suit, though? Doesn't need one. He's looking, he's looking good right here. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see what we can do. 
All right, so Fake Out, normal type move. When it is used on the first turn of a Pokemon battle, or at least a Pokemon's first turn like it was then, it will guarantee it to flinch. So that is why that happened. We're going to use Razor Leaf and do very little damage. My god. We are so goddamn weak right now. I do not know what went wrong. Holy crap. Um... Ouch. Okay. All right. Okay. No, we're fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll heal a wee bit. We'll, we will heal a wee bit and we'll see what happens. Okay. Pikachu has some sweet shades. Yeah. Yeah. He's dressed up as uh, a Team Rocket goon now, but uh, yeah, he's got some sweet shades at least. Yeah. We're just not going to be able to do anything against that, are we? Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. All right, Pikachu will have the power. Persian scratches his eyes out, yeah. So the thing is with Slash is that Slash has a high crit chance. It's also a normal type move, um, which means that it gets more damage when used by normal type Pokemon, such as Persian. All right, so that was uh, 33 damage. Uh, no, 33? No, 43 damage. Sorry, I can do math. All right, we'll double kick to get the ball rolling here. Please don't crit. Ouch! This is really bad! Wow, I am underleveled. Holy crapola. Right, okay, alright, okay, this is fine. Everyone stop panicking. <laughs> oh, what went wrong here? What's that pizza crunchy again? Okay, fine. Okay, alright. What tier would you class Persian? Uh, competitively speaking, Persian's about um, like mid, mid, like mid table. Really, it's known as an underused Pokemon, which means that it doesn't really. Um... Oh, can we do anything here? No, no. Okay, hold on. We can out heal this. Uh, yeah, Persian's about mid tier, really. Like the problem with normal type Pokemon for the most part is that unless they're hyper strong, they don't really make a mark on other Pokemon. It's just the fact that I'm under leveled right now, which is why I'm struggling. Candy Pikachu, yeah, it doesn't really work that way. All right, there we go. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, the uh, the the Pikachu candy works um, like after battles. It doesn't work during a battle. Alright, I don't think so anyway. Alright, okay, one more. Alright, Persian down. Crapola was summoned! <laughs> yeah. Undercover detective? Yeah, we tried to be undercover, but everyone saw through our disguise for some reason. I have no idea how. <laughs> um, such a good lowest tier. Yeah, he is certainly lowest tier for sure. Right, we now have Rhydon. So, Rhydon, a big old ground and rock type Pokemon. Pikachu does not want anything to do with a ground type. I'll tell you that for nothing. Alright, sorry, Rhyhorn. Sorry, not Rhydon. Okay, let's see how we do here then. I'm going to start off with a heal just to kind of scout what movie has. Uh, something like Rock Throw, probably. We'll have to see. We'll get up to full health pretty much near enough. Like 93. Yeah. Got to 93 health and Mega Horn. Ouch. So Mega Horn is actually a bug type move. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that's a bug type move, which is actually neutral on Ivasaur because grass types are weak to bug, but grass types are strong against. Sorry, uh, poison types are strong against bug. Uh, alright. This could be very difficult. Mega Horn does have bad accuracy. Alright. This is stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid! Alright. Remind me not to skip trainers. Alright, good, good. Okay, right. Now, friggin' uh, Razor Leaf. Let's go. Please. Times four damage. There we go. Oh, okay. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Mega Horn, unless it crits. 
Ah, uh, fine. Yep, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, right. Whew. A Riparion? Yeah. We'll be seeing that in this generation, but uh, Riparion would be... Uh, sorry, Riparion would be uh, very scary indeed. All right. You're doing well, Ivasaur. Keep up. Keep it up, man. All right. Uh, Pidgeotto wants to learn agility. That will just make us faster in battle, which is not what we want. Oh, he's run out of Pokemon. What? This can't be. And we get five ground. Nice. So I am too... Uh, sorry, I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that coupon. Ma! Ah! And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. And we get the Sylph Scope. Lovely. You put the Sylph Scope in your bag. I can see you raise your Pokémon with the utmost care. But you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. But I hope we will meet and battle again. <laughs> anyway, get the idea with that. Hey, there you go. Hey, Cubone. Where you going, bud? Cubone headed back to Lavender Town. Cool. Maybe with a silkscope, you'll be able to find out the identity of that ghost. Your evil laugh is impeccable. <laughs> I've had much practice, Adelwyn. <laughs> oh, thank you. Alrighty then. Um, hmm. So... Oh, oh no, that was, in Sylph, that was in Sylph, wasn't it? That was in Sylph Co. True nature exposed? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. No, I'm a good guy, all right? I'm a friggin' good guy. BRB a sec? Yeah, that's all right, KMS. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So the day is saved, ladies and gentlemen. Cubone has been rescued from the evil clutches of Team Rocket. We have met the evil Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. I wonder, uh, I wonder if we will meet him again. So you think uh, Riparia uh, looks weird in his evolution? Riparia? Um, uh, he looks different, but I wouldn't say weird. No. I like how uh, he looks a lot more brittle than Raiden. Uh, yeah, I can I can understand that. I, I think I think he still looks good. I think he I think he looks pretty tough. Um, he looks a lot bigger. He certainly is a lot tougher as well. He's got a friggin' ability which reduces, um, like, physical damage or something, which is nutty. No, sorry, super effective damage. Imagine having a Pokémon who is actually slightly resistant to super effective damage. That's crazy. Uh, anyway. Oof, I'm flying on a dragon? Nice. Did anyone see Peter's Pokémon condemning video? No, I didn't. What? What the hell was that? Tell me more. Uh, okay, cool. So, we need to go buy some potions, so let's go do that. But we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have saved Kubo, so we now must go back to Lavender Town. And what we're actually going to do on the way to Lavender Town is we're actually going to battle all the trainers that we missed, because obviously <laughs> we're slightly underleveled, so we're going to do that. Remember the pizza game that came out when Black and White came out? Pizza game. That vaguely... Pokemon Black and Wait, is that a is that a joke? Because I vaguely remember something like that, and I don't know if you're friggin' trolling me or whether I'm actually having a genuine flashback here. Uh, all right, let's get some potions. Um, we don't want to buy too many. About twenty-one will do. No, it's legit. Okay, Are you still trolling me? <laughs> no, I I vaguely remember something about that. Was someone saying that? But again, I I get trolled a lot. I'm. Let me tell you, if you want someone to troll, you don't have to work very hard when it comes to trolling me. Like, you can say anything, and I'll believe you. Like, honestly, anyone, anyone at all, say something, I'll friggin' believe it, okay? <laughs> oh, one thing I want to see before we leave for Lavender, by the way. Yeah. DJ, I already know this. Yeah, I, I know you do. Look at my big baby boy. Ugh. Alright, gorgeous. Look at that big baby boy. 
Peter said Pokemon promotes animal fight, you know, something stupid like that. Silly. Friggin' silly. Look at him. Such a big baby boy. Gorgeous boy. Look at that Tom. Look at that big old Tom right there. What a gorgeous boy. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go back to Lavender Town, shall we? And let us go and see what we can see in the uh, Lavender Pokemon Tower. See all the ghosts, finally. You owe me $1,000? It's in the post. Back? Ah, uh, welcome back, KMS. Welcome back. We're on our way back to the uh, Pokemon Tower to uh, uh, see Cubone. Uh, Alright, but before we do that, we must take on every single trainer on the way to Lavender Town because we are very, very underleveled, it seems. A small path between towns. Tee -hee. Route 7 is nice, right? Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. Did you buy potions? I did buy potions, yes. Now let's play an ensemble called A Battle. Oh. Don't know, what up, don't know what's up with this guy. <laughs> Good job, DJ. Thanks. Appreciate it. Say hello to Alpesh and say hello to Farfetched. Oh, if ever there was a Pokemon who was completely forgotten, it was Farfetched. A cool friggin' design. A cool Pokemon by any standard whatsoever. But does he get an evolution? No. Are his stats any good? No. Is his type any good? No. Not at all. He's really, really bad. I mean, he just took 40 health from me, but he's really, really bad. And it's a shame. The only thing that Farfetch got was a, a specific, unique hold item. Called, I think it's called a leak or something, or a stick or something. And when you make him hold it, I think it increases his critical hit chance. Which is like, who cares? It, oh, it drives me nuts. Farfetch has a leak there. Yeah, is he on the spring onion? Spring onion, leak. I don't know the specific, but it's one of those. I, I'm not too sure. No, wait, is my fave duck next to Gold Duck? Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. I love him too. I absolutely ado adore Farfetch. I think he's awesome. But my god, does he need something? I sincerely hope Pokemon Sword and Shield does something for him. God damn it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna leap seed this Wiggly Tough. Also, he's cool in the anime. He's very cool in the anime, like when he's uh, twirling his uh, friggin' leak like a baton. I think that's really, really cool. Psyduck is King Duck. Psyduck's pretty cool as well. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we have Leech Seeded the Wigglytuff. Let's see how much damage Razor Leaf does. Or, or it can avoid it. And apparently everyone can avoid every move ever. There you go. Nice and happy about that. I don't want to fall asleep, Wigglytuff. Please do not sing to me and please do not let me go to sleep. I don't want any of that to happen. All right, I'm really, really happy that we use Lead Seed there. All right, good. So this is going to take a little while because we don't really have anything which takes down Wigglytuff too quickly. If we had a Poison-type move, that would be awesome because Wigglytuff did acquire the Fairy-type. But uh, unfortunately, we don't, so... Uh, let's see. I got attached to Golduck in one of my Nuzlocke's. It was my first one in X. Nice. Did, uh, did Golduck survive the Nuzlocke? Did it get to the very end? I hope so. Alright, we're doing okay here. We're doing alright. The Leech Seed is really helping us. Uh, Wigglytuff does have a lot of health, so Leech Seed will take a big chunk of health off of uh, Wigglytuff. But yeah, there we go. Wigglytuff is down. Woo! Feels good, man. There we go. She did, uh, she did, she got to level 100. Dang, dude. That's a lot of training. Good for you, fella. Good for you. Ivasaur makes it to level 32, which is awesome. I think I named her Yango. That's a cool name. Nice. Sunglasses Squirtle was my favorite from the cartoon. Yeah, the Squirtle Squad. Yeah. It was a great session. Ah, oh, nice. All right, we, uh, we'll move on. Oh! 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 Oh, 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 Ivasaur, Ivasaur is evolving, oh, let's do it. 
Behold! The final evolution of Ivasaur! It's Venusaur! Yeah! Here we go, the big cheese himself. Venusaur, the seed Pokemon. The flower on its back catches the sun's rays. The sunlight is then absorbed and used for energy. Oh! Can't mess with those unicorns. Thank you for those unicorns. A hundred unicorns to be precise. You're the best. Thank you for those. Venusaur wants to learn Petal Dance. Do we want to learn Petal Dance? Uh, just a quick reminder of how strong Petal Dance is. Uh, you bet your ass. All right, cool. We'll uh, get rid of Razor Leaf then. So, uh, Petal Dance is a very powerful move. It's 120 base as opposed to the 55 base of Razor Leaf. Effectively, it's like more than twice as strong as Razor Leaf. But the side effect of using Petal Dance is that A, you're stuck. To, you're stuck using Petal Dance for, I think, like two turns, but also I think it causes confusion, unless I'm thinking of a different move. We just got TN12 Facade, by the way. Facade, normal type move. It's a spunky move that deals double damage if the Pokemon using it has a status condition. Very good for a move like, sorry, for a Pokemon who likes having a status condition, like uh, Ursaring, I guess, or Primeape, but uh, not good for any of our Pokemon. Uh, let me just see right here. Um, yes, the user just uh, then becomes confused. Okay, good. I was remembering the move correctly. Torchara over Venusaur. Um, I, I am actually a, I, I am actually a Torterra fan. Believe it or not, I, I quite like Torterra. So, yeah. Um, I'm not necessarily. Oh God! Ah, no, Growlithe. Leave me alone. Not against that opinion, that's for sure. Uh, all right. Ooh, we got an item here. Oh, yes, I missed all the trainers, didn't I? How many gym badges do you have? All of them. I don't really. Is there anything more Asian than yin and yang? Aside from magical... Uh, Gorils? 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 Torterra's a beast. Uh, Torterra's are a beast, just a uh, slow beast. Yeah, that was the problem. So, Torterra was a... Um, grass and ground type of Pokemon, which is a very interesting combination indeed. Makes it very weak to ice, but having that ability to take on um, Pokemon with um, using Earthquake, that's really nice. Uh, I actually used to use a Torterra that had Rock Polish, which actually sped it up. It doubled its speed, so there are ways around that slow speed, so you can actually use the good attack stat that it has, but um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Alright, I was hoping that would actually do quite a bit more damage, but that's fine. <laughs> what Pokemon do you not like? Charmander? <laughs> uh, I do like a lot, though. I, I, th I think that was the point of you saying that, right? I, I do like a lot of different Pokemon. Fun thing about Ying and Yang, Ying is the black side and the female side, and Yang is the white male side. It's like Moon and Sun. There you go. Learn something new every day. Learn something new every day. So we have used uh, Petal Dance three times in a row, and now Venusaur, unfortunately, is very confused. So against Doug Trio, we are actually going to switch our Pokemon and use Pidgeotto instead. You know what Pokemon are actually quite powerful? Magnemite. They have the most resistances. Um, well, I mean, uh, there's, there's more. This Pokemon with more resistances, um, but yeah, Magnemites are pretty cool. Uh, Alright, we'll use Wing Attack here. Last Airbender taught me that lesson. Oh, there you go. Good old uh, Airbender. Alright, cool. Two hit KO? Should be fine. Magnemite has 16 resistances. Yeah, but it's not always about the resistances. You've also got to look at common weaknesses. Uh, fire, fight, fire and fighting are two very common weaknesses to have um, which is an issue really and also if you're able to ground the Magnemite then ground becomes a problem as well uh, alright there you go my first girlfriend became the moon that's rough is, 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 
Is that an Urbender reference? I don't know many Urbender references. <laughs> That's why I magnemize for a pain in the butt to fight. Yeah, now don't get me wrong, they're tough. They're tough as balls, but uh, yeah, there's some pretty devastating ones out there. Pretty more, pretty more devastating Pokemon out there than Magnemites, unfortunately. Ooh. Yeah, just DJ? Alright, cool. I know an Urbender reference. You proud of me, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the seal. I love him so much. Oh, I want one. So proud. Yeah. Look at the seal. Oh, he's gorgeous. Oh, I want him. I want him so much. Give me your seal, lady, please. I want a mud cap. You're not getting one in this game. We need to catch more Pokemon. We do. We've caught no Pokemon yet. Uh-oh. You were stronger than I thought. Indeed I was. Thank you for the Ultra Balls. It's like those Mirabal Pokemon in... Uh... Mirab... Uh... Ball? Bell? Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl. You know that's annoying... Annoying teal thing that's... I'm not entirely sure what any of that means, H7. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried my best. That's quite from Airbender. You missed out if you didn't watch that. I did watch Airbender a wee bit, but I didn't watch it enough to... Uh, um... I don't watch it enough to kind of remember everything about it, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I watched a few episodes. I know a little bit about it, but not a whole lot. Uh, I'm going to think about what H7 just said for ages and try and figure it out. <laughs> God damn it. Why am I so bad at streaming? That Pokemon, hold on. I need to... Oh, Bronzong! Bronzor and Bronzong. Right, no, sorry. I'm with you now. Yeah, no, I, I I know what you mean now. Um, I was confused by the word mirror, uh, but yeah, no, I, I'm with you now. I only watched it because it was the only thing on when I was homesick from school. Yeah, no, I I know a lot of shows like that as well. Like uh, there wasn't really much on uh, for me when. Um... Oh wait, we have tea now, don't we? Growlers, leave me alone. Ah, uh, uh. yeah, there wasn't really much for me to watch when I stayed off from school. Are you using an emulator? No, we're playing this on my Switch. But welcome to the stream, uh, Snurker King? The Snurker King. Event it was a bunch of meh? Oh, really? I, I thought it was okay. Yeah, those two. Evil when you fight them, but terrible when you have them. Yeah, uh, Bronzong uh, is an absolute beast. Psychic Steel with Levitate. Not terribly strong on the physical, well, on the attack, but Boy, can it just stick in and just do a lot of, like, status damage and all that. Holy crap. Snurger King, thank you for the follow. Enjoy the Pikachu on screen. He's very happy to see you. Thank you for watching and thank you for following. I appreciate that. Is finding an Ebony Warhammer at level 24 lucky? Uh, I think so. But yeah, there you go. Thank you for the follow. Bronzor is based off of mirrors, that's why I call him that. Ah, I actually didn't know that. That's cool. Nice. All right, all right, Lolf, how are you doing? Oh, dear. I think I gave that poor guy too many pizza crunchies to eat. They're rather dry if you don't have any tea or anything to wash them down. <sighs> you poor thing. All right, do you need some tea, fella? Oh, that tea you have, it looks awfully tasty. What? I can have a drink? Gee, thanks. Oh, cluck, 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 well, cluck, 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 if you really want to go to Saffron City, cluck, 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 I guess I can let you pass, cluck, 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 gulp, I'll show this to you with guards working the other gates around the city too, all right, cheers lad, good job, all right, how big is that cup of tea, I know, right, I, oh, I I think the, the picture of it was actually a cup of tea as well, so... How am I carrying it without spilling it? How is he going to share it with everyone else? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, what is this? England? Basically, yeah. <laughs> but welcome to Saffron City. Saffron City is the city which is in between Lavender Town and Celadon. Now, we previously couldn't actually get here because of the very thirsty guards that wouldn't let us pass. But now that we've given them the tea, we can now get around here just fine. 
a bottomless cup of tea. I know, right? Wouldn't that be nice? It's like a two-litre jug, yeah. <laughs> Isn't Saffron the one with Misty? No, that is uh, Cerulean City. All right, fella. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. TM40 Psychic. I actually wanted coffee, but sure. Uh, we're not actually going to spend too much time here in Saffron City. We are supposed to go here eventually. We will explore it when we're supposed to be here, but for now, we're just kind of passing through. There are a couple of cool things in Saffron. Um, I mean, notice all the Team Rocket guys here. That's a bit of an issue. But for now, we're just using it as a bit of a pass-through here. This is Tea Town. No coffee. Yeah. No coffee for any of these nerds. This is all about tea. <laughs> All right, all right, fella. Do I do I did I battle you last time? School is fun, but oh, so so are Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's my nerdy voice. It's really bad, I know. All right, let's do it, nerd. Come on, Leslie. Come on, Les. Let's do it. All right, Leslie sends out Magnemite. Magnemite. Oh man. And we send out Venusaur. Now, as Chi Chi rightly said. Magnemite does actually have a lot of resistances, and he resists everything that Venusaur can actually throw at it. However, Pikachu has a move which can actually deal with Magnemite just fine, and that is a fighting type move called Double Kick. Uh, remember that Magnemite is an electric and steel type Pokemon, and steel type Pokemon are very weak to fighting type moves. So, let's Double Kick. That's a good voice. Thanks. I try my best. <laughs> All right, that's going to do most of the damage there, which is awesome. One more double kick will do the job against Magnemite. The good thing about using Pikachu against Magnemite as well is that electric resists electric. So one more double kick and job is a good one. Bang. Take that, you bugger. Take that. All right, good. Uh, okay, Pikachu gets a bit of experience, as does Venusaur, as does Gyarados, apparently. Level 27. I don't want to keep Gyarados, though. <laughs> he made it clear to me that <sighs> I should stick with him. I sounded like a cat, then. I started purring. <sighs> I'm a cat. <sighs> okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> As speaks to you, no double kick when his feet are the size of Vienna sausages. Um, a good point. I mean, it. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, magic. Here, yeah, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I don't know where that cat voice came from, but sure. Uh, right, okay. I actually want Pidgeotto to get some experience now. Now that Venusaur is leveled up, we'll get Pidgeotto in the lead. All right, ladies. We're showing off our Pokemon. Do you want to try? Do you want to try? Try what? Try showing off my my Pokemon? Your your po Let's just battle. See what happens. I have no idea. Anyway, let's go, Megan. Let's go. What have you got, Megan? It's a Pikachu. The moment that I put my flying type Pokemon into the lead, I face a friggin' electric type. That is just my look. Although saying that, level 25. You know what? I fancy this. Let's go. How much damage does Quick Attack do? Thunderway. Yeah, you know what? I fancy this. I fancy this. I'm gonna take this right now. Now, the strange thing is, ladies and gentlemen, is that when you are paralyzed, you lose a lot of your speed, which means that you are more likely to go second when you choose an attack. However, we have a move called Quick Attack, and Quick Attack has something called Priority, which means that it goes uh, first compared to pretty much any other move. So Quick Attack, if both Pidgeotto and Pikachu had exactly the same speed, and I wasn't paralyzed, if I use Quick Attack and... Um, Pikachu use a normal move, Quick Attack would make me go first because Quick Attack is a priority move. Now, we could get paralyzed here, which we did, unfortunately, so Quick Attack didn't even get off the off the, uh, off the the bench there, but that's perfectly fine. Holy crap, that was a violent animation for Slam. All right, there we go. DJ, Bronzor is a fusion of Bronze and Mirror, and Bronzor is Bronze and Dong. Nice. Dong! <laughs> He's a bell Pokemon. Yeah. Look, what did you do to my poor cute Pokemon? Destroyed it. 
There you go. That's cool though. I actually didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know, H7. Um, do we have paralysis heal? Uh, yes, we do. There we go. Okay, cool. Pidgeotto is now cured of paralysis. Fantastic. All right, can I battle you as well, love? Meow is so cute. Meow, meow. I'm a cat. Meow, yeah. yeah. Let me just scratch your walls and your and your sofa. Yeah. There you go. That's a cat, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, kitty, kitty. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's actually a very relevant thing to say. <laughs> This, it's full of cats, this game. Look at that, there's me out. All right. Man, you'd think I'd be in trouble, frigging cats chasing birds and all that, but I think we'll be okay on this instance. Uh, faint or faint, there we go. Boom, nice and easy, doesn't really do much. Uh, let's go kitty tune. Yeah, good old kitty tune. <laughs> the good thing about having a priority move is that Oh wow, Faint actually has even better priority than Quick Attack. But uh, yeah, normally using Quick Attack to finish off Pokemon like that is a really good idea. Uh, not gonna lie, as a child, I had a thing for the last, did you? Oh, Dude, she's right there. I can ask her out for you if you want, man. I was saying that uh, she's probably not very old. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's use Wing Attack. So, Wing Attack should do plenty. Stop using that move, it sucks. It doesn't do anything. Learn to battle, lass, you bugger. Oh, God. That's nine, okay. <laughs> uh, nine year old Choo Choo, man. Oof. I wonder if nine year old Choo Choo was an angel or a terror. Uh, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, cool. Fake out, I assume that was. Alright, let's use Wing Attack. Bit of both? Yeah, I can, I, I can imagine. I can imagine. Were you guys good kids back in the day? Like, when you were young, would you consider yourself angels or devils? What would you say? I'm talking like 9, 10, 11. Were you like terrors for your parents or were you like good kids? Let me know. I. I've always been a good kid, only because I was too shy to actually do anything. So I, I was always the quiet one. But um, yeah, never did anything bad because I was too afraid to. As a good kid, I just stayed in my room and colored in red. Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty much like me. Although I used to play with a lot of Lego and such. All right, Ninja Guy. Oh, all right, let's play a game. There we go. I was uh, F boy and I hate it. And an F boy. I don't know what that means. Uh, explain. Now, Teenage Me was Hell on Wheels. <laughs> nice. I can believe that. Like, I don't mean I was when I. I don't mean I was when I was a teen. I was F boy. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Is that bad? Explain to me, please. I must know. Unless it's like really complicated. Uh, we'll use being the sword for Rhyhorn here. Should be able to kill it straight away. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Right. Maybe. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if Tootie's being trolly again. I do not swear. Right. Okay. Okay. No, I'm, I'm with you now. I'm with you now. Okay. Cool. I don't swear. I have a hate seven, so it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Fair enough. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. All right, cool. Uh, tear that, Stan. Drat. Came up short. Oh. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. All right. We need to take on all of these trainers. We need levels galore. And we have not caught a single Pokemon. Uh, don't worry. I'm listening to Chi Chi on this occasion. <laughs> did I miscalculate? Did I use a wrong move? Hmm. This must be the one trainer that we did take on on this route last week. Hey, nerd. <sighs> You, you look good at Pokemon, but how how is your chemistry grade? Uh, in GCSE chemistry in high school, I think I got a B. Yeah, I think I ended up with a B grade, which is pretty good for someone who did not do chemistry too much. Ah <laughs> oh, man, so proud DJ. Thanks. Yeah, like back in the day, science was not like truly my thing. And so I was very happy to get bees in chemistry, physics, and uh, 
and the other one, biology. God, I can't even remember the sciences. <laughs> no one told me what I did was wrong. Ah, right, okay. No, yeah, that's fair enough. I understand. Uh, okay, let's, um... Oh, God, it's friggin' coughing. Ah, coughing and wheezing! A plague on both of your houses! God damn it. Alright, Pikachu, let's send this guy straight to hell. Don't poison me. Alright, cool. Cool. That's a groan from me. Alright, um... Okay, please. Please just, uh... Please just perish. He didn't listen. He didn't listen! <laughs> he just didn't listen! Ah, oh, thank god for that. Ah, oh, poison's the worst. Don't know how many of you guys played the original Gen 1 games on the Game Boy, but whenever you were poisoned, when you were just walking around in the overworld, you, your, your screen would, like, shudder, and it would make this horrible noise every time you took a step, just to let you know that one of your Pokémon was dying from poison. All you would hear would be this... <laughs> <laughs> the screen would be shaking like crazy every time you walked. Like, thankfully it doesn't do that in this game. I can walk around without worrying about my Pikachu dying from poison, but gosh, it was awful. You did that when you played Sapphire? There you go, there you go, yeah. It, it was much worse in Gen 1, though. Holy crap. I'm a rambling gaming dude. Good for you, fella, good for you. Remember the screen shake on the DS and Soul Silver? You'd walk thinking what the hell was going on and your Pokemon would die? Yeah, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh, Seeking! Seeking! What a guy! Wait, is that a horn? And it's on a fish? Oh, man. That's similar to another Pokemon we know. Oh, that one's for KMS. KMS was wondering what the evolved form of a other certain Pokemon was. Well, there you go. There you go. There you go. Say hello to the evolved form of Goldeen, Seeking. No, don't do Horn Trill. Oh, I like Goldeen. Yeah. Do you like Seeking? Is that fish floating? Indeed it is. Don't question it. <laughs> don't use Horn Trill. Oh, thank God. So Horn Trill is a one-hit KO move. Doesn't matter how much defense you have, how much HP you've got. It is a one-hit KO move. And it will kill you, eventually. It's got a very low accuracy, about 30%, but sometimes it doesn't care and it'll just kill you anyway. <laughs> you like him? Nice, nice. Remember the Pokemon episode where James spent like half a mil on a giant Magikarp? I do, yes, I do remember that one. Miss the big chance. Think about my favorite Pokemon, Seeking? Nice. All right, cool, cool. We're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, alright. Now, I think we fought you, didn't we? Yeah. No, Goldeen? Alright, cool. Goldeen is pretty cool. Oh, man. Although, saying that, KMS, there's about, like, 900 poor Pokemon to look at. So, uh, yeah. You might have a different favorite. We'll see. We'll see if Goldeen can stand the test of time. No, I'm done? No, that's my fave? Ooh. <laughs> Uh, I will I will show you all the Pokemon. See if I can tempt you away from Goldeen. Dragonite and Blastoise? Yeah. I mean, Dragonite's pretty cool. Nice and original. And Blastoise has got friggin' cannons on its back, right? Lavender Town. I want that music. Enjoy it. Show me them all, DJ. I'll do my best. There's a lot of them. Sobble is still my current favorite, and he's not even around yet? I know, right? Uh, I want to get my Grokey on, man. Yeah. There you go. It's haunting. It's haunting yet beautiful at the same time. Right! Hey, it's Lion! So that's Cubone's mom? That's right! Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so it can sell the skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother, even though she's gone. I just, I just can't forgive Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone headed heading into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it. I'll keep an eye out for, for that Mr. Fuji as well. Uh, thank you, and be careful. Yampers. Yeah, can't wait for Yampers. Good old, good old Yampers. I really don't like ghosts, but I gotta do this. 
Don't worry, man. There's a big old onyx behind you. I love Cyndaquil. Yeah, Cyndaquil is pretty cute. Ah, damn, nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What do you say? You want to come with me? Yeah, sure, why not? Thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just let you lead the way, okay? Will do, lad. Will do. All right, we're going back into Ghost Tower. Let's do it, boys and girls. All right, so if you missed it last week, this is the Pokemon Tower. This is where uh, dead Pokemon are put to rest. There you go. I love how you're still dressed as Team Rocket. Yeah, we should probably change that, right? Hold on, let me let me just change that slightly. Uh, we don't want to be we, we don't want to be too evil, right? Uh, what can we change to? Uh, let's go with that. There you go. There you go. There you go. What about you, Pikachu? Pikachu, what do you want? Let's get your hat on. Let's get your hat back on. There you go. There you go. And uh, uh, you can be a butler. There you go. Lovely, lovely. There you go. Much better. Could be a lady. Always could be a lady. Absolutely. Right. All right, love. I got your self scope for you. You there. If you wish to know the truth behind the wandering spirits haunting this tower, well, even we travelers couldn't identify them. But maybe with the right tool... Yes, perhaps a sylph-scope might let one see the truth behind this mystery. <laughs> we already have a sylph-scope, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the ball today. Uh, I'll battle you on way down, love. All right, let's go up the tower, shall we? Oh, so look at all these unidentified ghosts. Look, do you think that there really are ghosts in here? T Tan, what's that? The Silscope revealed the ghost's true form. And behold, they're actually massive ghastlies and haunters. Whoa, that's crazy. So those ghosts were actually Pokemon? Yes, there are ghost Pokemon in a tower full of dead Pokemon in a world where ghost Pokemon are a thing. Yes. Glad we... Glad we... Glad we got that cleared up. He's so big. Yipes. Yeah, Haunter is especially big. Holy crap. Oh, <gasps> Cubone! Wait, we already have a Cubone, right? Do we have a Cubone? I think we do. You know what? Why not? Yates! There you go. Top Yates! Two, three, boop. Maybe one. I think we already have one, but we've not caught anything today. We may as well, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, we've already caught one. There you go. There you go. Good for experience, though. Get the orphans. Yeah, get all the orphans. <laughs> you are all my children now. <laughs> all right. Anyway, let's fight some ghostly ladies. <laughs> uh, I tried my best. I tried my best. Sometimes my voice acting talent is, is not good enough. But say hello to Carly. Uh, there we go. So she sends out Ghastly. Ghastly, the uh, ghost and poison type Pokemon. So the fun thing about ghost type Pokemon is that they are completely immune to normal type moves and also fighting type moves. If we use Quick Attack, a normal type move, it will do a grand total of nothing. So we are going to try and stay away from that. Sucker Punch, as we've explained, is a dark type move which has priority if... Well, it has priority anyway, but it will actually attack if the opponent is preparing an attack. Uh, as opposed to a non-attacking move such as Thunder Wave or whatever. Hmm, what am I doing? I don't know. You seem pretty shocked, but that's fine. That's so good. It was better than the text on the screen. <laughs> See, when it's all like fa 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 or I, I don't I don't know I don't actually know what it's supposed to sound like. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get this one up here before we take the one down there because I think there's an item here. Yeah, there is. Nice. Ooh, Curse Pokemon have that damn curse move. Ugh, makes me uh, mad just thinking about it. Yeah. So curse works a little differently with ghosts compared to other Pokemon. When a ghost uses curse, it gives you effectively mega poison, where you lose damage per turn, but the ghost will lose half of its health. 
when any other type of Pokemon uses Curse, it actually just lowers their speed but gives them an attack and defense boost. So, yeah, it's quite deadly when, it, when a Curse uses it. Um, although, thankfully, it does lose half of its health in exchange. Wah! I'm saved! All right, so maybe all of these uh, ladies are actually being possessed by these ghosts or something? They all seem pretty confused, don't they? We found an awakening, which will help our Pokemon, well, become awake. Oh, oh, Ghastly, come here, lad. Oh, here we go. First new catch of the day. Say hello to Ghastly. It's a huge one. All right, Ghastly, you're coming with me, bud. Yeet. Wow, that's a terrible yeet. Let's try again. Yeet. There you go. That's a bit better. Hello. There you go. An actual ghost-type Pokemon. In Gen 1, Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar was the only set of Ghost-type Pokémon in the entire generation. So they had this type, and yet there are only, there's only effectively one Ghost-type Pokémon. Uh, uh, split across three evolution chains, of course, but yeah. Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, that was it. Hey Jacob, how you doing man? How you doing my good friend? Hopefully you are well. Uh, I can't remember who said it before, by the way, but the reason why we didn't, we haven't decided to uh, evolve Growlithe yet is because it actually learns moves as a Growlithe. We don't want to miss out on some of the moves, such as Crunch, so we're going to keep it as Growlithe for now. I'm doing good? Good. I'm glad you're good, man. Enjoy some Pokemon today, my good friend. We're playing Pokemon for probably about another hour or so. Here we go. Ghastly, the gas Pokemon. Said to appear in decrepit, deserted bu uh, buildings. It has no real shape, as it appears to be made of a gas. There you go. Ghastly, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice indeed. I'd like to try and catch that Haunter as well, if I can. That would be nice. All right, love. Become malevolent spirits. Ah, I try and make him sound as crazy as I am. <laughs> Uh, it's Patricia. All right, Pat, how you doing, love? All right, she's going to send out Ghastly, as you would expect. And we got Pidgeotto. There you go. Lovely bit of Pidgeotto. The top birdage. All right, wing attack. Let's do this. Now, you'll notice that we're actually seven levels higher than all of these Pokemon. That's fantastic, and I'm glad it's a thing. Oh, we won't get much experience, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, I wonder what move Ghastly would use, actually. Let's just do something for science. Um, Alright, so I'm going to use Quick Attack just because I want Ghastly to actually use an attack. Wing Attack would kill it. Quick Attack, of course, will be resisted completely because it's immune to normal type moves, but this is for science. So you'd use Sucker Punch. Right, okay, so we've got to watch out for that. Alright, so we'll use Wing Attack now. It's going to use Sucker Punch on us, or not, apparently. Okay, fair enough. Uh, either way, it's dead. For science, yeah, yeah, there you go. Always doing science, man. Always doing science. Take that, Patty. Phew, the spirit left. <laughs> there you go. So all of these people are apparently possessed. Great. All right, let's go. All right, the next level. I wasn't supposed to go to Lion, was I? I hope not. Uh, right, what, is, what do we have around here? I uh, just, oh, hello. All right, love. Oh, I didn't even see you there. What's your name? Ghost, no! <laughs> oh my god. It's fun because if I wasn't streaming, I'd still be doing these silly voices. That's me. Yep, I'm that guy. All right, more Ghastlies. More Ghastlies than you can shake a Joy-Con at. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's get these wing attacks going on. So Ghastly, again, nothing to worry about here. One wing attack should be good. That's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I do it for RPGs as well. Like, I'm playing for Octopath Traveler, and it's, it is voiced, but not fully. So I kind of fill in the gaps when it's not actually voiced. I don't know. It just makes me feel good, man. It makes me feel less lonely. Wait. <laughs> Ow! Jesus Christ, that was violent. Take that, you bugger. Bloody girls. For reading all the Mabel text out loud. There you go. There you go. Nice. 
Yeah, good old Mabel. I'd like to see that game one day. Right, okay, so I think because we are Poison, we are going to send Pidgeotto back to the box for a second. So, with Poison, it will only start affecting you if you are actually battling with a Pokemon. If you send them back to, well, back to the Pokeball, they will not suffer any more poison damage for the duration of the battle. Of course, it will restart if you use that Pokemon again. So, uh, yeah. All right, we'll use Thunderbolt. Maybe I can show it to you? I'd love to see a little bit of it. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Maybe on Discord one time. That's uh, sometime. All right, cool. There goes another Ghastly. I don't think we're going to see too many exciting battles here. I think a lot of them are just going to have Ghastlies, maybe the occasional Haunter. So, um, yeah, not a whole lot going on here. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we need to grind a bit anyway. TM4 Teleport. Teleport tends to be a bit of a useless move. Ooh, beat me not! Uh, teleport, if it's used outside of battle, if it's used in like a cave or something, it sends you to the start of the cave. If it's used inside of battle, um, in a trainer battle, oh, I don't know what it does in a trainer battle, but if it's used in a wild battle, it will get you out of that battle. What's it used, what's it doing in a trainer battle? Does it, does it change the Pokemon? I can't quite remember. Either way. Alright, Yoda. Mm, not if it I am, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, anyway, gosh. Ah, there you go, we do have a haunter. <laughs> Northern Yoda, what does that even sound like? Mm, pie and chips is good, mushy peas, aye. Very lad. Mm. <laughs> That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Haunter is the evolved form of Ghastly. Uh, a couple of people were talking about it earlier in the night, saying that it looks like the 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 creepiest, the the scariest of the uh, of the free uh, Ghastly of all forms. Um, yeah, I can see that with the hands and stuff. Oh, thank you for the hundred Yoda bits. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the bits. That's for Northern Yoda. Northern Yoda. I'll make sure he gets them. <laughs> huh? Who? What? You've been possessed by ghosts, love. Ghosts. Aye, ghosts all over the place. It's getting a bit of a problem. There's a Pokeball up here, isn't there? Ooh, what do we have? Oh, a full heal. Oh, so good. All right, we're not actually going to use it, even though we really should. I see a bone and crying. Oh. I wonder if any new viewers have come into this stream. And they've heard all of this voice acting, and they've just left straight away. <laughs> oh man, that would be friggin' hilarious. Alright, let's do it, Pidgeotto. In fact, no, let's not do it, Pidgeotto. Uh, let's not do it. The poison worries me. Yeah, the poison worries me. Let's get Growlithe out. No, no, I, I do wonder. I do. It's not an issue. I'm not gonna be like, no, follow me, I'm desperate. But I do wonder. <laughs> All right, we'll get Growlithe out here. It's a nice, safe uh, switch because oh, we, oh, we have Crunch. Oh, thank you, past DJ, for teaching Crunch to Growlithe. So Ghost type Pokemon are very, very weak to Dark type moves, and yet you bet your ass that Crunch is a Dark type move. So uh, although we are poisoned, you bugger, we're gonna crunch this asshole. Smash! There you go. Your voice acting brings all the viewers to the stream. God, I hope so. <laughs> oh, man. Hire me, Professor. You need voice actors, right? What? There you go. There you go. All right. Um, uh, we have a Golbat, I believe. I believe we have a Golbat. We have a Ghastly. Uh, we're mainly looking for Haunter, actually. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. All right, that's what I was hoping for. So if you see on the far right there, you'll see like a rune on the ground, like a big blue kind of rune thing. That should give us a full heal. And that's why I didn't. That's why I decided not to use my full um, heal to cure the poison from my Pokemon. Gonna crunch that asshole, right? Yep, that's me, crunching assholes. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> it didn't mean to come out like that, okay, Jacob? 
I, I, I meant I was going to use the move crunch on that Pokemon who I consider an asshole. It's, it's innocent. It just came out slightly wrong. Wash your mind, young man. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, all right, cool. Let's uh, let's go through this. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, oh, God, we can survive a sucker punch poison, right? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Okay, good. One hit. Yeah, fine. All right. Ouch. That's so painful. Come on, Pidgeotto, heal up. Yeah, Sucker Punch will not hurt us if we use a non-damaging move. Roost will heal us up for about half health, which is amazing. Uh, we're going to take increased poison damage, though. Uh, God, I think this is fine. This should be fine. Yeah, like we've got 43 health. There's no reason why this shouldn't do the, do the business. There we go. Take that, haunt it. Feels good, man. We just need to get Pidgeotto to that space down there so we can heal it of its poison. Onyx is growing nicely, even though we don't even need him. What a nightmare! <laughs> there you go. They all seem to be given 1,000 Poké Dollars as well. I wonder if that's a thing, like some kind of reference or whatever. I don't know. But we do have a Nugget, which is awesome! Uh, we do need to sell those. Holy crap. So yeah, when you walk onto this rune, you enter the purified and protected space, and your Pokémon were fully healed. Brilliant. Right, alright love. Come, child, I have purified the space here. <laughs> you can rest yourself a moment. <sighs> there you go, I'll do it again. Twice as nice. There you go. All right, love, what are you up to? Zom Zombies? All right, there you go. Zombies are now a thing. Is there a zombie? No, there's no zombie type. Well, there's obviously, there's no zombie type Pokemon. I don't think there's any Pokemon based off of a zombie, right? Uh, there probably is, actually. I'm probably not remembering one. Uh, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there is. Wow. Okay. Either way. <laughs> Either way, we're all good. What did you use? Uh, Willow Wisp. You burned me. There's a creepy pasta about a zombie. Oh. Okay, well, uh, that's, that, that's fine. I don't like zombies anyway. <laughs> I don't like zombies anyway. Oh, thank god we've got that purified area up there. So burn will weaken Pidgeotto's physical attack, and that's what we're all about with Pidgeotto. So, uh, yeah, we kind of want to cure that as soon as possible. Alright, here we go. Uh, was that all? Any more? Yeah, we got a Ghastly as well. Alright, sweet. We can take out the Ghastly. Now, we might not one-hit KO the Ghastly because of the burn that we just suffered. We are, of course, like eight levels ahead, which means that we're way stronger um, than the Ghastly, but the burn might ruin this for us. Yeah, yeah. That probably would have been a one-hit KO, but the burn just completely tanked our physical attack, unfortunately. One more wing attack, though, should do the business. Um. Boop. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of ghosts in this tower. We're going to have to take them all on. Hopefully you guys like ghosts. Do you guys believe in ghosts? Let me know. There you go. That's the question of the moment right now. Do you guys believe in the existence of ghosts? Let me know. Right. As you guys are answering that, maybe, let's uh, continue, shall we? Let's grab this Pokeball, and we get ourselves an Ice Stone. Ice stones, I assume, evolve some kind of ice Pokemon. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, okay, we'll just take you on, and then we'll be up to the next floor, I think. Ooh, Ugh. Nice. Nice chatting with you, lady. Nice chatting with you. <laughs> All right, let's go, Jeanne. That's a strange name. Lovely name, though. Another Ghastly. I think she's got four of them. Oh, my God. Everyone, sit back and relax. As I make all of the ghastlies go away. There we go. Wing attack. Bang. There you go. That's one. Ah, so how are you guys doing? How's everyone doing in chat? Let me know. Hopefully everyone's well right now. Let me know what you're up to right now. Hopefully everyone's okay. 
I'm just sitting back on my sofa, relaxing, and uh, wing attacking some ghastlies. You a little hungry? Nice. What are you going for? What are you going to be eating? I assume you're going to go eat. Are you going to go eat? I'm good, but... Uh, tired and playing Minecraft? Nice. How's Minecraft going, dude? What are you up to right now? What are you up to right now, man? Chicken salad? Nice. Sounds good to me. Are you using that uh, chili chicken thing that you bought the other day? That hatch chicken? Is that what it's called? There you go. There you go. Conversing with chats whilst grinding against Gaslies. That's how you do it. Yeah, hatch chili, that's the one. There you go. I learned about that the other day. <laughs> uh, traveling and trying to find a mansion. I'm failing. Oof. I think I remember the mansions. I've never actually played the game whilst the mansions were a thing, but I remember someone showing me one. They're like in forests, right? With the, uh, the dark wood trees and all that. I'm going home? Ah, okay, well, good luck going home, man. Hopefully, uh, you'll find your home. <laughs> yeah, you did? Yeah, I learned about that. All right, we'll get one more heal, because it's right here. Boop. And we will head to the next floor. Uh, I, are you a battler? I think you are, right? Okay, no, we got one more. Yeah, it's in the dark woods? Yeah, I thought so. Give me your all. You have a compass? Alright, nice, good. You'll never get lost with a compass. Hey, Tammy, how you doing, love? Alright, Haunter. Haunter's fine. We don't do etches up north, so we just call them Haunter. Right. Yeah, no etch in that. <laughs> Alright, and just like every single other ghost in this god darn tower, all we're gonna do is just use wing attack, and all is good. Let's just uh, take a bit of poison damage, because why not? Wing attack. Bang. Happy with that. Oh, God. No. Okay. All right. All right, big boy. Taking on an entire wing attack. Very good. Have another. Have another, my good friend. There you go. Good old Haunter. Good old Haunter. There you go. All right, what else have you got for me, love? Hopefully you've got some Ghastlies as well. Ghastlies are a little easier to take down. Uh, take a bit of poison damage. And ghastly. All those feathers, right? Yeah, the feathers are flying. <laughs> I'm really hoping that Pidgeotto evolves tonight. Like, if we can get Pidgeotto evolved as well, that would be amazing. Because we did evolve, we've already evolved Divasaur into Venusaur, which is awesome. And then what that would mean is, out of all of our current uh, team, which is uh, Growlithe, Pidgeotto, Venusaur, and Pikachu, uh, only Growlithe would be left to evolve, like, and we can actually evolve Growlithe whenever we want, so, yeah, getting, like, a fully evolved team pretty much would be awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't evolve Pikachu, by the way, for those of you who are like, but what about Raichu? I, I don't know if the game will actually allow you to evolve, uh, Pikachu. I, I, I will, I will quite happily accept, uh... I can't actually say that I'm wrong, uh, if anyone knows better, but uh, I, I, I doubt they allow you to evolve your Pikachu in this game. Pretty sh uh, We've already got to see that. I'm pretty sure you couldn't do it in Pokemon Yellow. If we could catch another one, absolutely. Come to me, Haunter! Yes! Aha! Aha! Filled you! Look how big he is. Oh, he's big, isn't he? He's a right big boy. You're a great big boy, aren't you? All right, let's check a raspberry at you. Are we big? You bet your ass he's big. He's a big old boy. All right, uh, all right. Yates! Nope. E oh, okay. And wait, oh, Yates? No, nope, I missed. Okay, bit too slow. Try again, DJ. Rah! All right, uh, Yates? How did I do it to the side again? Eh, okay. I don't know how to side throw. How do I side throw? Does anyone know? Yates? Okay, this is a real problem. I don't know how to side throw. Uh, nope. No, I don't know how to side throw either. These two controllers? Uh, I, I think they still throw to the middle. Now, I, I have done it before, but I don't know how I've done it. So I don't know if, like, you 
Oh, there you go. Yay! No. Oh, there you go, that's how you do it. Uh now let's do I am dying on the inside. Yates. Okay. Oh thank god. <laughs> You have to not be trying. Yeah, if you don't try, you'll get it. Ugh. Friggin' Pokemon that don't stay in the middle, man. Holy moly. Anyway, we get Haunter. Haunter, the gas Pokemon. By licking, it saps the victim's life. It causes shaking that won't stop until the victim's demise. <laughs> Evil. Uh, yeah, Haunter does actually learn a move called Lick. And Lick has the ability to paralyze its opponent. So, uh, yeah, true to its word there. Uh, all right, we get ourselves a revive. So he licks you to death? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Destruction! Despair! <laughs> yeah, the, the move Lick itself isn't actually terribly strong, but it can cause paralysis, which uh, kind of, you know, it, it, it's, the Pokedex entry is correct in that sense. Right, let's go Pidgeotto. Let's do it. Uh, level 33 for Pidgeotto. We should be one-hit KOing these Ghastlies again. Yeah, here we go. And boop. There you go. Nice. All right, Pidgeotto is getting some good strength here, which is awesome. It's going to get to a point where Pikachus actually are under-level Pokemon, but that's fine, because Pikachu's just, like, OP as heck anyway, with the moves that it has, so Pikachu can afford to take a wee bit of a break. It'd be nice if we could one-hit KO these, uh, these Haunters, though, with Wing Attack. Let's see. Ah, it's close. It's close. We're getting there. Can't quite do it yet, though. Need to get a wee bit stronger. Ah, all right, and there goes Haunter as well. Very nice indeed. Super close. Yeah, just need to get a little bit more physical attack. I don't really think there's a stronger flying type move that we'll be will be uh, acquiring apart from wing attack. I mean, there are stronger flying type moves, but they're kind of annoying in a way. They take like two turns to use or whatever. So, yeah, if we could just rely on wing attack to actually do the job, that would be awesome. Alright, cool. And there you go. Take that. Send to you, Angelica. Send to you, love. Send to you. Uh, right. How you doing, love? Oof. Wow. I mean, this tower will be completely void of all ghosts by the time we are done. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's do it, Haunter. No. I mean, we're leveling up quite nicely. That's the main thing. Heck yeah, well, yeah, we're effectively the Ghostbusters. If there's something strange and it don't look good, who are you gonna call? Pidgeotto. <laughs> he ain't afraid of no ghost. Bang! Wow. Oh, that's actually a strong haunter, though. That's level 32. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, take this guy a wee bit, a, a wee bit more seriously. There you go. Very good indeed. Very good indeed. Now, the interesting thing about the ghost normal kind of dynamic, um, and that's what we have right here. Uh, we're taking on ghost type Pokemon with a normal flying type Pokemon. Is that normal moves can't hit ghost types. Ghost types are completely immune to normal moves. But normal types are also immune to ghost type moves. So Pidgeotto will never get hit by a ghost type move. It'll be interesting to see if we switch to Pikachu and suddenly it starts using ghost type moves such as Shadow Ball. Hopefully, if that's a thing, then that's, uh, that'll be cool to show off. Hey Pikachu, how you doing bud? How you doing? All right, strongest move against Haunter with Pikachu would be Thunderbolt. Let's do it. Let's find out if it survives, which it won't. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when you're doing science and your your uh, your subject dies? God damn it! Happens way too often to me. All right, cool. We got a level for Growlithe, which is awesome, and we got one more Haunter to deal with, and a lovely Swift Thunderbolt should be good enough. Fun fact: the Pokemon on Pikachu's head is actually immune to uh, electric type moves. 
I had an idea for Minecraft. Make a museum. Nice, nice. What are you gonna put in it? Or I mean, what kind? Of, what's it gonna look like on the outside? You're gonna make it look like uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. What does a museum look like nowadays? <laughs> Let me know what you're gonna do with it, man. Very excited to hear about that. Everything. Nice. You could like stick one of everything in it. So like, use your museum to kind of chart every item in the game or something. I mean, that'd be pretty dope. I like that idea. All right, cool. There we go. Something fell out. All right. That's what I'm gonna do. I like that idea. That's pretty cool. Take me for a tour one day. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's continue. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> getting there. Oh, man. All right, cool. This feels like Rock Cave all over again. Thankfully, this battle shouldn't take too long. A level 25 Haunter against a level 34 Pidgeotto, I think. You're doing great, DJ. Thanks. Uh, I, I appreciate that it's a lot of the same Pokemon. I mean, excuse me. When you've only got one set of ghost types in the first generation, and you can't really put any other ghost type Pokemon into Lavender Tower. So you are going to see a lot of Haunters and a lot of Gastlys. Uh, you did see a Golbat. There was a, gold, a wild Golbat here, but um, yeah, just a lot of ghosts. This place looks cool, though. I'm happy to watch. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. You know, the purple mist everywhere and all that. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Three Ultra Balls. Very nice. I think we wasted about seven on Haunter, but that's fine. Uh, we get ourselves a lovely Hyper Potion here, which will be very useful for our good friend Pidgeotto, who is losing health at a rate of knots. Oh, hello. Be gone. Be gone, intruders! Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, it's hideous! God! This one's even bigger than the last one! Dan, use the pink! <laughs> yeah, you basically did what Lion did just then. Dan, use the thing! The thing you used last time! Alright. Time to use the self scope. And behold, the Pokemon, the ghost, is actually a Marowak, the mother of Cubone. true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Cubone, you... you just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Oh. Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. It's alright, my mom's scary. Dan, I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go take it home. Oh, uh, if there's someone near Fuji upstairs, do you think you could see him home too? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll, 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 sure, I've got this. No, she's not. <laughs> Are you not scared at all, Dan? Man, you're full of confidence, pal. You definitely seem dependable. What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? When did you go and get that strong? God damn it. Right, well then, I guess I'll leave this up to you, Dan. Come on, Cubone. There you go. Cubone is safe. Like, oh, I've already got a Chansey. Why is there a Chansey here? Yeah, I suppose it's good experience. Why not? Why not? I mean, we can try and catch it. Oh, God, it's friggin' bouncing all over the place, isn't it? Bouncing all over the place. All right, okay. All right, stay there. Stay there, you bugger.
God damn it, Chansey. You tested me. You tested me, man. You friggin' tested me. God damn it. As soon as you get into the middle, I'm ready. Alright, go. Yates. <laughs> Got ya, you sucker. You think you can escape the wrath of TJ? Oh, you can't. Alright, okay. You know what? Screw you. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, just a happy little Chansey. Who knew, eh? Who knew? Alright, well, there's a Cubone there. We don't need another one, so that's fine. Got ourselves a lovely rare candy there. Very nice indeed. And let us head up to the top. And... Yeah, there we go. And at the top, we see... An old man! Stop right there! We'll be going first! With that spectre out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're gonna be re you're gonna be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. Alright. Shall we kick their asses? Few cutters. I know, right? How dare they? As a Brit, I do not like that because we like to queue over here and queue cutting is just not done. It's just not done. You don't do it. So why would you, you bugger? Right. Okay. So we have got Pidgeotto and Pikachu at the front. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Grabs here thinks he can resist. So we're setting him straight. You better uh, disappear, Twerp, or be prepared to fight. Oh, here we go. Team Rocket again. Let's do this. Let's see if they've got any stronger since we last fought them about 20 minutes ago. Well, say 20 minutes. More like 40 minutes. Arbok and Weezing as ever. A couple of poison types. Good old Pikachu. Go get them, fella. Go get them. Right, let's knock out Arbok first. Uh, we will use Wing Attack on Arbok. And we will use Thunderbolt on Arbok as well. Yeah, so now that we've actually taken on all of those trainers, we're actually of a decent level. We're actually matching the level of uh, Jesse and James now. I mean, we still take a truckload of damage because they're all level 34, but we can now we can now at least do something. Oh, oh no, Pikachu! Ah! Oh, Pikachu died! Oh no, I feel so bad! Oh, poor thing. Oh, that was devastating. <laughs> that was devastating, poor guy. Alright, Venusaur, take the wheel, man. Take the wheel. Uh, wing attack on our buck, please, Pidgeotto. And... Uh, we'll use takedown as well on our buck. Poor little guy. I know, right? It's crying. Just crying away like he was running to his mother or something. That's adorable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, first of all, he's not actually dead, okay? I mean, we may be in a tower full of dead Pokemon, but our Pokemon don't actually die. You'll fix them up. Exactly. We'll give him a head stroke and everything. Everything will be fine. Nothing to worry about. The same, that friggin' Pidgeotto might be going the same way. Uh, Alright, we're gonna roost with Pidgeotto so we don't die. And we are gonna apply Leech Seed to uh, Weezing so we can get a bit of health out of him. So we can get a wee bit of health out of him. There we go. Okay, roost for Pidgeotto keeps him nice and healthy. Oh, sorry, her. <laughs> My Pidgeotto is a lady. There you go, Sludge Bomb on Venusaur, not going to do too much. The Leech Seed will cause a bit of damage there, get a bit of healing. Could, it be, could be a lady, definitely a lady on this uh, on this occasion. We will get a Wing Attack on Weezing, and we will get a Takedown on Weezing as well. Very nice. Smash! Oh my god, Weezing is so strong! Holy crap, Weezing is like the tankiest son of a gun. Like, Weezing just takes no messing whatsoever. 
it's just crazy how strong Weezing is. I love it. I really do. Weezing's such a good Pokemon. Right, let's finish this off. Let's finish this off, shall we? There you go. One more takedown. Should be good enough. And away we go. You'll get him. Yeah, it just takes a long ass time, unfortunately. We got it, though. What you want? You'll regret this. There you go. Ew, look, seriously? Again? Looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnapped Fuji is a bust then. Don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We'll just have to we'll just have to help out with the takeover of Silfco in Saffron City. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Yeah there, Fuji. What you say, lad? What you say? Oh, Pikachu wants something. Yeah right there, bud. Pikachu looks completely exasperated. Oh, you know what, bud? You know what? I just took a bit of a you took a bit of a beating back then, so I've one of those. Welcome back, Chuchi. Welcome back. Hopefully you're well, my good friend. He's a hug? Yeah, he does. Ah, right, there you go, bud. You did go, bud. Let's poke that tail. Let's poke that tail. Poke that tail. Let me poke that cheek of yours. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Pikachu looks anxious? I mean, he just got destroyed by a Team Rocket. I would be as well. Hello, hello. What's your dream team from Gen 1, DJ? How you doing there, Snack? Um... <sighs> oh, God. What would it be? Um... Uh... Stormy... Venusaur... Uh... Fire-type. Uh... Arcanine. Um... Executor. If we're allowed legendaries, Zapdos. And then Duck Trio, probably. Something like that, anyway. I don't know. I don't know, though. It would take me a long time, man, but something like that. But hopefully you're well, Ashnack. Hopefully you're well today. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. Yeah, I'm good, Ashnack. I'm good. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my house. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Dragonite blessed to his Charizard Pidgey up. I mean, those are good too. Sodan, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. And we get the Poker Flutes from Mount Fuji. Upon hearing the Poker Flutes, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, an interesting point raised by Mr. Fuji, a sleeping Pokemon. Now, of course, our Pokemon fall asleep all the time when we get hit by moves like Hypnosis. However, we have actually seen a sleeping Pokemon before. Um, although KMS missed it, she was BRB. Uh, so that'll be a surprise to her. Uh, like Gengar, but kind of hard to get when you play solo. Yeah, Gengar is pretty good as well, actually. Um... Yeah, Gengar and Starmie. I, I see. Like for me, if I was picking a Gen One team, it would either be Gengar or or Starmie. Uh, I personally believe Starmie's better, but I mean Gengar wins in a straight up battle against Starmie. But I think Starmie beats more Pokemon than Gengar, so that's why I'd pick Starmie over Gengar. Really. Oh what? Yeah. So there is a very special sleeping Pokemon that um, I showed off just before, but you would be our beast. So now that we have the Poker Flutes, we're actually able to wake that Pokemon up. I was gone three minutes. I know, I know. I didn't show him off for very long though, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, let me go and uh, show him off. Dee -dee -dee. 
So yeah, uh, the next part of the storyline involves Team Rocket taking over a company known as Silfco. And Silfco is a um, company based here in Saffron City. I mean, you look at all the Team Rocket dudes here, they're looking to take over the company. These are the people who made the... Um, the, the Sylph Scope, which just helps us identify the ghosts in Lavender City, so, sorry, Lavender Town. So, very good at kind of inventing uh, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we need to kind of sort that out later. Oh, Abra! There you go, let's catch this Abra. Do we have an Abra? I don't know, let's see. But say hello to Abra! Such a tiny Abra as well. Alright, here we go. I eight. Oh god, let's try again. Okay. Yeet. Why am I flying it over there? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeet. The throwing system in this game sometimes isn't very good. Or maybe I'm not very good. Yeet. Holy crap, what is wrong with me? There we go. <laughs> My yeets are a bit rusty today. No! You son of a friggin' gun. I want you, Abra. I want you. You just chill for a second, bud. God damn it. Okay, alright. I can't. Oh, I ran away anyway. Alright. I am awful at catching Pokemon. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're out. We're out. Screw you guys. <laughs> Screw you guys and your super cool Abra. He was tiny anyway. Alright. So, yes. Oh, big hugs. <laughs> Thank you for the big hugs. So, on the far left hand of Celadon City, and this has always been a thing, even in the Gen 1 games, there is a Pokemon uh, that is sleeping. Uh, Abra with the, the dodge skills, I know, right? It's more me with the lack of throwing skills, though, sadly. And that sleeping Pokemon is right here. There you go. Look at that big boy. Look at that big boy right there. He's a gorgeous boy, isn't he? He's right gorgeous, that fella. Look at that fella. There you go. Good old Snorlax. Alright. A Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. Do you want to use the Poker Flute? You bet your ass I do. You played the Poker Flute. Can you hear the bells, Fernando? And as he hears that sweet Abba tune, he wakes up. Snorlax woke up. Snorlax is looking at you, and it looks hungry. Hey, Dan? Uh, oh, Mr. Fuji. There's something I forgot to mention when I gave you the poker flute. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. Since it can be pretty dangerous, please help it calm down by battling with it with your Pokemon. Once you're defeated, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it just like any other Pokemon. Alright, let's do it. Snorlax mistook you for food and attacks. Hit me. Yeah, just sprawled out like that. <laughs> um, uh-oh. No, we're fine. Say hello to Snorlax. He's a big boy. I actually have a plushie of Snorlax upstairs as well. Feels good, man. Oh, all right. How do we beat Snorlax, sir? Sun in Southern Guard is what is hitting me. Rip. Oh, yeah, he's a pretty tough dude, isn't he? All right, we're going to play this. this oh, are we being timed? Oh, uh, you won't actually see this because of my... Um, my notification bar in the top left hand corner but I believe I'm being timed okay all right I was gonna play this the slow way but um, sure all right let's get leech seed on and then we'll start kicking your ass okay uh, this could be tough this could be tough all right okay this is fine this is fine speedy boy we're gonna try and be a speedy boy all right so we've leech seeded for a bit of extra damage he won't be able to get rid of that so as you already know the thing about Snorlax is that he is able to sleep. He knows a move called um, uh, Rest. 
And what rest does is it will cure him of any status. So if we use poison powder, for instance, to poison him, he will more than likely get rid of it. Wow, that is a big old tongue story like <laughs> So, uh, yeah, all we really want to do is get Leech Seed on, and then we just need to start packering it. Like, just friggin' smash his brains in. Uh, all right, we'll use Petal Dance here. So Snorlax has an incredible special stat, but he has a pretty poor physical defensive stat. So Petal Dance should do okay, I think. I think Petal Dance is physical. I can't, can't, can't actually remember now. But I think one more hit should be fine. There we go. All right, cool. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. All right, and now the capture phase has begun. Right, uh, let's feed the big boy. Um, raspberry, use. I'm one of those, fella. There you go. All right. Oh, in fact, let's get our friend in. Wait, friend. Here we go. All right, let's get my friend in. All right, so we can actually fire two Pokeballs at once. It's cheaty, but it's fine. Double Yates! There we go. Good luck. Thanks, I think I'll need it. One, two, three. Yeah! Snorlax acquired. <sighs> Woo! Yeah. Feels good, man. Oh, dang. We just got a butt ton of experience. That's a feels good, man. Holy crap. Pikachu, Pidgeotto, Venusaur. <gasps> Thank you for the hundred unicorns. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Onyx and Gyarados get levels up as well. Feels good. There we go. Level ups for days. Alright, tell me about Snorlax. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. Oh, it's a lady as well. Uh, will eat anything, even if the food happens to be a little moldy. It never gets an upset stomach. Nice. There you go. Oh my, Dan. Sorry, oh my, Dan. That was impressive. There are other Pokemon out there that will try to attack trainers, just as Snorlax did. When facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is to defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch. In that order. Not catch and then defeat. Well, I'll see you later, then. Mwah. Wish I was Snorlax. Wish I was Snorlax too, but... Alright, there go. There goes uh, Space Girl. Send her back into space. <sighs> right, okay. Um, I'm kind of upset that we didn't actually evolve Pidgeotto tonight, so... We're going to use a rare candy on him. Or her, sorry. There, there we go. Cool. <laughs> Forced evolution. Oh! From out of nowhere, Pidgeotto's evolving? Oh! There you go. Catch the feet. <laughs> Catch all the feet. Pidgeotto is evolving. And Pidgeotto... So we fed Pidgeotto a rare candy that gave him a level up, and he evolves at level 36. Pidgeotto evolves into Pidgeot. What a surprise, I know, right? But look at Pidgeot. What a badass looking Pokemon that is. Pidgeot, the bird Pokemon. This Pokemon flies at Mach 2 speed, seeking prey. Its large talons are feared as wicked weapons. Beautiful, isn't he? Such a beautiful boy. There you go. There's Pidgeot. There is Pidgeot right there. Nice. Uh, Alright, okay. Give me a sec. I just need to grab something. Okay, thanks for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right, one more thing that I want to check is... Uh, let me just check right here... Uh, Crowliff... <sighs> okay. Two-headed bird, he's gone now. Yes, yeah, so that is a Pokémon called Doduo. Uh, Doduo has two heads and evolves into a Pokemon that actually has three heads called Dodrio. 
Uh, Dodrio is very good Pokemon, actually. Very scary Pokemon. Uh, right, let's see. So... French Heatwave, Flat Blitz at 45 versus Extreme Speed at 34. What level is Growlithe? Uh, 29. Alright, okay. And can you learn any moves in this game? Um, no, you can't. I should wait. I should wait. Uh, I really want to evolve Growlithe, but I can't. I really can't. Uh, oh well, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, I do want to check up here, actually, before we end the stream. So, um, yeah, let's have a quick check up here. So, we're not going to be able to do the Celadon City Gym today. We'll do that next week. But let's have a quick check up here. If that deal duo com goes back, or comes back, I will try and catch it. So, if you went this way in the um, Gen 1 games, you actually got the HM for fly. But I think we can already fly, maybe. I don't know. We'll have a look. Good effort. It's not many. And sorry, it's not many who make it up here. Ugh, cheers, lad. Cheers. Lost me northern accent there for a second. Right. Ooh, this is lovely. Oh, hello. All right, fellas. Right, who's in the house? Who have we got in here? All right, love. How are you doing? Oh, dear. You found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. And we get TM14 fly. Ah, interesting. Okay. So, uh, fly is normally a HM. A HM in Gen 1 meant that once you taught it, you couldn't actually replace that move. But in this game, it's actually a TM. So you can teach it as many times as you want and get rid of it as many times as you want as well. Interesting. All right. Well, um, yeah, I think that is uh, a good place to stop. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we didn't get any gym badges done today, but we have done pretty well in terms of. Um, oh no! Don't take a picture. Uh, I've done pretty well in terms of actually getting through the story of the game. So uh, yeah, it feels good, man. Feels good. Ah, right. Let's do this properly, shall we? Let's do this properly. Oh, anyway. Yep, that's the end of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching any of the streams this week. We had a really good Witcher stream, really good Oblivion stream, and yeah, a lot of really fun Pokemon stream as well. Thank you to Stream DJ. Never a problem, KMS. That was a pain back in the day with flying stuff like that, but thanks for the stream. Yeah, it's a lot easier now with, um, with uh, Fly being a TM in this game, I guess. But uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the stream. And, yeah, yeah, we'll be back with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu next week when we'll be taking on the Celadon City Gym Leader. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, saving Saffron... Sorry, Sylph uh, Sylphco from the evil clutches of Team Rocket. Anyway, have a good night. Have a good week. I'll see you all next week. We'll do it all again. Have a good night. Farewell, everybody. Farewell. Farewell.